Testing microphone, one, two. Trying to capture game. It's on the game's end. It just takes a while to load after you click the launch. is from the Dutch. Did Pete Hen versus somebody? A historical painting, but it's uh, quite good. <laughs> Makes you wonder all the time. What is the painting about? I don't recognize the other flag. Shit. No. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. Welcome Grenada into Andalusia campaign. We're continuing to uh, kick Christian butt. And hopefully worm our way into uh, advancement towards you. He's now doing some mission B. Yesterday we invaded Arabia. <laughs> Overextended ourselves because I was too stubborn to actually release another vassal. We had like... Uh, Rebel yell because of it. We're stabilizing the joint, and today I'm gonna be forced to take up debt to uh, as an investment into a next institution, into a next uh, catching up tech move, into uh, you know, well, basically thinking on the long term. We're also gonna try rectifying a little bit of the borders in steel. What happened there? Uh, why didn't I go for Castile? Castile was basically in a coalition with... But Timmy left that coalition. And the moment that happened... Uh, well, Timmy joined it because of the baby, of course. But the moment they left it, all of them left. Basically, uh, ever since this patch has uh, made it so that vassals and uh, AI nations simply don't convert anymore. The HRE doesn't care. They always flip... Uh, Reformed or Protestant, then they just don't care what happens to the, uh, the Catholics down south. O only those guys here down below, like Pope Man, Venice, and Savoy, who states of a Catholic, are actually angry about this. Well, we'll see. France, our longtime ally, rivaled us side of the blue. It, it had to happen sooner or later. It was actually uh, quite unlucky because um, they could have rivaled the Ottomans or they could have rivaled anybody, but. And they chose me, and I don't burn stuff like that. Here we are. 1975. I'm pausing and hoping that the coalition doesn't declare on us. Because, yeah, the moment France came out of truce, of course it reformed. We only got other bro as an ally. We've been trying to get more allies, but the uh, rivalry patterns are pretty bad. We were trying to befriend Bahmanis, but... Then Timmy came out of unrivaled us, and I was like, okay, rival Bachman is then and tried to all right, Timmy, but we took the advantage of declaring on Steel the moment the uh, coalition was dissolved, but well, I'm a bit afraid that France is gonna start fabricating on us. Why? This here. And it worries me to no end. Having a militaristic France bordering you in the 16th century on very hard is uh yeah how shall i put it not easy to overcome if they attack they have no claims on me i think i hope but this guy is uh alexander means that he, he came from the event alexander is the miller is the six guaranteed in uh mill uh option for uh look stella that's the look stella event for Caesar, Alexander, or Johan. 
And because he's 6 in military, he actually overcame the 12% chance of becoming a militaristic ruler. That France got nerfed with. And, uh, yeah. I'm curious to see where this young militarist will lead France. I hope for, I hope he's gonna go for the HRE. I really hope so. But, oh boy. Yep, he has no claims on me, which is good. But, yeah, he could still, uh coalition attack us. He has Burgundy, he has Holland, he has uh, Savoy. Oh well, let's hope he attacks Savoy. That would mean that coalition members are starting to attack one another. Oh well. I'm really afraid now France will go pwah, pwah, coalition. <laughs> Castile we, it is so wrecked by us. We, we like chain bankrupted him and whatnot. That he actually has no colonies to speak of. I, I think Castilian La Plata is tiny and that's the only colony he has. So, well, we're improving with anybody that might care for our wrongdoings. Yesterday I kind of uh, said, ah, declaring with, uh, reconquest is a good idea. I'm starting to regret it. Because the cores from uh, Catalonia and Leon... I, I, I basically forgot how we took this here. The Warcast versus other religions, I can take a whole lot more, and now it's gonna cost me dip, but I wanna take as much out of uh, a bite out of Iberia as we can here. Oh well. I should check if any nation flipped friendly after restarting. I don't think so. I, I also think it's not worth it to win this war early on. Ah, pfft. No big nation is actually in that list. <laughs> Greece wants to battle. Yeah, right. No. Ah, I'm not gonna piece you out, Castile. It's kind of tempting even to just uh, lower my army mate here. I don't have anybody at to left to attack here. Oh, the Mamluks in three years. We got so we gotta finish the war in three years because oh well. Wait a minute. We were gonna do cause we were gonna do you, but they, they got. <laughs> I really wanted. To, ah shoot. Yeah okay. I'm an idiot. I was thinking Mamluks will guarantee uh, Greece, but of course they can't. They cannot even claim that anymore. Hmm. Oh well. If anybody uh, goes for Greece, <laughs> we need to plan this session ahead. We integrated Naples yesterday, and we are converting them. I think it's a wise investment. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Did I actually? No, we don't have a, a, a converter. Hmm. I don't think I can get. Well, 80%. The Inquisitor is going to be uh, 25. Nah, it's not worth it. What I could do is try firing some guys, but yeah, plus 3, forget about it. Oh, I'm pretty sure we can convert without those guys. Is there anything else I need to consider? Probably not. Really don't like that coalition in France next to us though. Come on, man. National taxes like my... Salt this. Construction cost. Okay. Hmm. It's tempting to tech up, but what, what I usually do is wait until we go right up to the, uh, to the limit and then loan up. I think uh, loan up to embrace the institution. It is spreading, not fast enough though. The only reason why we can accept it is because the integrated Naples already has it. It is seemingly spreading in uh, Tunis also. Hmm. I don't think a steel will actually get land that has it. Well, I could do it right now, but Tech 14 is not gonna mean anything. And I kind of want that spy network in France to be 100 to check up for cheap. Hi there, Mirazaz. Yeah, I'm just started, man. 
as usual. Start it. Wait, didn't I send more cannons down there? Hmm. Oh man, my... I really need better generals. We had like 80 army tradition, but then we, we went to sit on our bump. To stabilize the joint. Oh, nice. I really want enough prestige to become an empire here. That would be small. Yeah, nice. And Algeria, could you kindly... Oh, this guy has been... Oh, come on, shoot. So yeah, we're still recovering from yesterday's push. We had to take 10 corruption to pay off a militaristic ottoman, not to break alliance with us. Ah... Uh, can do that by themselves, and I really need some better, uh, need some better generals here. I think this will be enough, but, uh, well, give me a sec. How's those rebels, uh, here? I need, I need a better general. They're already at three. This oh, watch me get another crap. <laughs> okay. I'll shut up now, game. I'll shut up. That's not, that's really not too bad. Okay. Give me another Right. Good. There we go. Okay, so, uh... Hmm. One percent, oh? Eh. Well, still, it's worth the investment, I bet. Because I want to push uh, Napoli out of the uh, state and give it to the traders. We, we're actually getting a lot of power in Genoa. That's the end goal for any run over here. You should be, uh... Going for uh, dominance of the Genoa node. Oh, two percent. Oh man, twenty-three ducats. Are you kidding me? <laughs> really? I think we'll wait on this estate. Oh shoot! Stupid edicts. Why can you not? Why can you not turn them on and off at will? It's like, oh yeah, you have to wait a year, and then of course you forget all about it. Oh well. Would I ever consider a Castile run? Yeah, that was actually the, the plan, Georgia. We were we were gonna go Catholic as Andalusia and form Spain until we learned that Granada tank cannot form Spain. Or Andalusia tank can't form Spain. Yeah, I, I was gonna try that. Become... We could still do it in theory if I collapse to the, uh, but, ah. Andalusia can't, like, I, I, I would, I would already see the guys in, uh, oh, sacrilege! Catholic Andalusia! Ugh. It's an affront to us Muslims, yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know, man. Playing Castile? Hmm. I really like playing in Iberia. I missed it so hard, uh, but... Yeah. Suppose we could do it, but... but yeah. The problem is... You're already saying it's too big of a nation for me. There would be no challenge. But... Oh. Could... That, no. I don't know. Turgid... It's, it's, it's a bit of a uh, tough question there. I don't even own, I, I don't think I even have the, uh, the achievement to discover the Americas as Castile because, uh, or as Spain, because we, 
in all honesty, we never did it. We don't need to, uh... Lost. Let's prep a peace deal here, shall we? Okay, what do we need for, for this mission to be? It's in the fucking title, so may as well do it. Oh yeah, wait, what? Retake Sicily. Why can I not do this? Complete- Ah! What? All provinces in the western Mediterranean- Wait a minute. Ah! I need Genoa. Okay. I didn't know that. We take Sicily. What, what does this even do? The Emirate of Sicily. What? What does that do? Oh. Ooh. Ooh hoo, hoo, hoo. That is not bad. That's 8-3. Uh, okay. So, Caliphate of Cordoba. We would need all that. Okay. So, basically, everything I got a claim on, right? Oh, well, I suppose we can take all that in one piece deal. But do we need to own it? Owned by Andalusia. Ah, oh, come on, man. I, I owned. Oh, but that would mean I can't core return it to... Uh, I wouldn't be able to core return it. Yeah. And also, yeah, we cannot even get the follow-up mission until we uh, integrate... Oh, man, I, I will never... Why do they have to make it always like... Oh man, I never should have vassalized that portrait. I saw this. It can wait, I suppose. What does it give? Ah, but it does give the permaclaims. I want the permaclaim. Finish them off. Can I really not... Bu yeah, we could bypass it. If, if, if I ask the province for myself and then grant it to the subject, but that is going to be more aggressive expansion. Yeah. Yeah, 22. Oh, man. I just want to see the difference here. If I... Kassir is in Salamanca, right? It's it's only 7 if we take it this way. And it's likely going to be a multitude of that if we... Yeah, 25. I was going to say 21. Ah, oh, and this reconquest will, will will make it so that any Oh man, I should have just conquested, but oh well. It's we released Leon. We will we can integrate Leon and then uh so do that as base. Whatever. Twenty one it's uh for all that is really not bad. So then we need this, that, 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 and and then yeah, basically anything we got a claim on, right? Uh huh. So oh wait, need all that? Okay. What about Palencia? Already have permanent claims on that? No. Okay. So something like that wouldn't be too bad. And then just take Palencia for the lords and expel them into Galicia. No, I would like that. I don't remember, Bovic. What's up, man? A kicking Christian butt. But, 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 yeah. But. <laughs> the Christians aren't too happy about it. There's not too much nations in that list, though, that are not in the coalition already. It's Alsace, Brandenburg, Salzburg, and Utrecht. Alsace? Brandenburg? Salzburg? Where in the nine hells did Salzburg go? What? They migrate or something? Ah, there they are! <laughs> what are you doing over there? Salzburg... ...and Utrecht. There. We can actually do that. Uh, 
I should uh, I should probably move my troops in the uh, general direction of uh, the Mamluks. I need to prepare that war. I might, yeah, and that includes a lot of coalition members. Do we still have enough favors to call in the Ottomans on that? Not that I need it, I think. We already have an army over there. Well, the rebels from Castile might also need an army, but I think we can send 20 came. I need my cannons on the Mamluks. Oh no, come on! Why does this keep on happening the moment I want to do this? You stupid game. Oh, I can really hate orange or oranges at, at times like that. I was going to tech up at... That is like 15% reduction that I see. Oh, wait, so until 1576, so it's one year. One year, eh? One year is we get like 140 a month. <sighs> Unless we can spend that admin. Well, we will spend a lot of admin on coring. Yeah, okay, fine. We'll just wait then. Do you get claim in India? Hmm. I don't think so with this mission three. Well, th th there is an exploration part of the m of the mission three. But uh, I, I have seen something about follow the Tigris. Yeah, follow the Tigris, which basically takes you into the Gulf, which is uh, kind of weird. It basically takes you into uh, Iran and stuff. Yeah, yeah, Iran and um, into Iraq, I mean. Yeah, it takes you into Iraq and even uh, even up into uh, uh yeah, but the the problem is we're getting uh a bit blocked. We, we would have to integrate our gears to to get that. Uh, uh, maybe we should do it. Integrate our gears. Did I restart? What do you mean? Did I restart? No. I never restart unless we get game over. What do you mean restart? It's still the same campaign that I started a couple of days ago. We always one shot everything, Nefilia. You should know that. Ah, this was all try one as Granada. Or did you mean restart a campaign? Another campaign, is that what you mean? Huh. Egypt, okay. Strike. It does take a lot of time on very hard. Ah, no, man, that's just dependent on my playstyle. Cold, rational, controlled, planning ahead. Pausing a lot to take opportunistic chances and think about stuff. If it wasn't for my message settings, I wouldn't have seen that Castile left the coalition when the Timurids left and whatnot. Uh, this is just an opportunistic strike, as usual. The danger of this run is now France. France got Lux Stella event and chose Alexander over here with six in mil. Alexander is like the mill guy, the, the, the guaranteed six in mill. And because he has such high mill, he became a militarist. He overcame the 12% chance for uh, a militaristic ruler in France. Let's just say that a 16-year-old militaristic leader in France that is joining the coalition against me, that frightens me a little. I expect them to declare that war any day, but we're still allied to the Ottomans, and maybe that is scaring them away. Just to say... I don't know. Anyways, uh, I need to plan this one. 
Hadramut, Mara, and Yemen, eh? Uh, don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. <laughs> I remember my air of Timur, we could speak and do the same way. Oh, but that is so risky, man. Taking on France. <laughs> I could use the... Okay, I, I need some numbers here. France, they took defensive. Exploration and expansion. They might have shipped their troops overseas. The moment nations like France and Britain take exploration, they go full potato. There used to be a patch, I don't know what patch, probably a couple ago, where uh, a nation was scripted to keep half their fleets and half their armies uh, in their home area, but that got removed in recent patches. Likely AI scripts that override another one, leading to uh, all the AI scripts being deleted. If you're a programmer, that should make sense. I'm not a programmer, but that is likely why. Point being, France might actually be weak. But, ah. I don't remember if he had a lot of troops in here, but France with defensive ideas. If they go Tech 15, they're a monster. If the Ottomans have Tech 15, which they don't. Ah. I think we would die if I do a stunt. Well, then again, I could pull my troops out of here and just focus on France. Oh my god, I, I, am I? Yeah, I was saying I'm afraid of France, and then he says, Let's engage France! Uh, <clears throat> it would be a good move to dissolve the coalition, though, with the help of the uh, the Ottomans, but I kind of want another ally in on it. Hmm, which ideas are expansion, uh, exploration, and defensive, and administrative? Ah, oh, they got the they got the discipline. Oh, I don't know. But if I wait until that coalition declares, it's likely a bad idea. A, a militarist France. It's a militarist in there from Luxtella. Ah, uh, I don't know. France might declare that war any day. I really need another ally. We were trying to befriend Brandenburg, but then France rivaled us, so that's not gonna work. We've also been trying the Danes, but the Danes say meh. We are also looking at the Commonwealth, but they still have us rivaled, and they will never do it because as long as they're rivaled. I see no natural ally here, which is just meh. Yeah, Great Britain might do it, but they're still rival us. And, and they, it was like, it's not gonna happen. They got 27 trust with us because we warred them with France. So it's not going to happen, and AI uh, will not ally you with 27 thrusts, so we just rival them again. I did spend 100 points to unrival them, and then realize my mistake. <sighs> I just see no natural ally, and I'll, we could ally Austria in theory, but the problem is Brandenburg is allied to the Commonwealth, and they together will just keep on hitting the HRE. I think Brandenburg already hates. Yeah, they're bordering. We, uh, they're going for the form Germany, so to speak. Holland. Ah, no, that's too tiny, man. Well, it's not a bad point, Mr. LG. If the coalition attacks, then I could pay them off. Ah, no, that no longer works. It no longer works. If France has claims in there, you cannot. It was worth a thought, though. Well, we could release Flanders. Uh, the moment these guys... Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I should be piecing out that Castile. We 
we're gonna have to spend some serious money. We got uh, conversions on the go. We got a shit ton of rebels on the go. So Aden, Dharma, okay. Uh, what happened with the Ottomans? So oh, the Ottomans just chill, man. They, they were the, the mili when they when they went to a militarist. We came this close to losing them as an ally because they went hostile below 100 opinion. Then we we took uh, debased our currency for uh, 2,000 ducats and we just granted them 2,000 ducats. Then they came, they went over uh, 100 opinion again and and came ally status again, which is good. If France would have attacked. They would have done it by now, and uh, message settings tell me they're gonna go for the HRE. Okay, they're gonna go and attack Burgundy, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, France is going to war with anybody but us. That's good. Really good. Yeah, I should move them here in preparation. Like, oh, we will get a shit ton of rebels in there also, unless we... Who is the Emperor? Uh, Austria, I think? Yep, still lost. We can. That truce with the family. See if seven years. We got some time. It is tempting if France is going to war to just do it. Make a coalition member full co belligerent and push for Paris here. Doing it. But France. I should be doing it because France is allied to that Brandenburg over there. Imagine France just flat out declaring on me coalition war and calling in Brandenburg. I would be so dead. <sighs> Have you ever seen the AI form the HRE? Nope. AI doesn't even pass uh, any ever since they don't convert. They don't do it. What? Oh, huh, that's convenient. You've seen it twice? Ah, oh, shoot. Over the limit here. So, oh, at 39. Ah, oh, God. Darn it. Hmm. I should be piecing out right now and starting that coring of the steel. I think nobody will care. Well, let's see. Uh, I should have declared with conquest war. It's still so tempting. We would have. This is like. Ah. Uh, Nobody would care that is not already in the coalition. <laughs> Kick ass, I say. If I if I take this and that for myself, we would finish the mission tree though. For uh, Caliphate of Cordoba. But yeah, I only need claims on, on Galicia, so whatever. It would only really give me claims on Galicia. Wait, what? This gives me a claim on Liguria and Piedmont? Really? Hmm. Oh, okay. That's a darn shame if I'm gonna do that to declare with uh, Conquest CB. But I could take these two for myself and finish the mission, but... It's gonna be like 20 more aggressive expansion. I don't think it's worth it. We'll just integrate Leon and integrate... Uh, Catalonia now. Okay. Castile has just 
been so weak. We have been focusing on uh, eating up all their uh, centers of trade, and they, they they don't even have a lot of a lot of uh, they don't even have a lot of colonies because yeah, I'm bashing them up all the time. Hmm. Ah, who cares? Let's just do it. Eighty-eight percent overextension, <laughs> giving back all the cores. It's it's gonna cost me a lot of bird mana, which I don't like. But I, ah oh well. If I had declared with conquest CB, it would have been worse. I bet the aggressive expansion. Ah, oh, let's just do this. Thirty-eight point four. Oh my God, that's great. We might actually form an empire today if, if that can standard game you can revoke 1580 there's ways to revoke in like 1510 man even earlier but yeah standard 1580 doesn't sound too bad <laughs> oh well Kick ass, I say. So we are giving all the cores back. Yeah, whatever. Kick ass, Christians. There. Ah. <laughs> Isn't it? That's great. So now we spend it all. Corn. Wait. You could revoke in 1480 on normal. Yeah, the specialists can do it in 1480. I might be able to do it. Uh, and, 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 and. Did you see Siu King's AE exploit? Nope. Not interested in exploits. We don't use uh, uh, exploits in this channel. Oh, well, it's debatable what an exploit is. Don't call me out on it. I right, just don't use it. I'm sorry. Hmm. So, uh, what is the basic revolt risk around here now? 20? Oh man, I need an army over here. <laughs> you don't even want to know how many rebels that is going to fire? Wait, what? Where are they? Wait, what? That cannot be right. Now that we're at peace. Okay. Could consider the force limit and whatnot. Yeah. Pfft. I should really. The next war is against the Mamluks, but. Yeah. Two point six years, you say? Hmm. Started as Austria, two wars versus some 100% both. What? Uh, I, I don't even understand that. I would have to read it. Be, but I'm not interested, period, Lolada. <laughs> if players get their uh, joy out of uh, exporting, well, that's their decision. Joke the game. Wait that. Sorry, man. It just doesn't interest in me. It doesn't interest me. I'm sorry. Wait, what? Huh? Oh. What? Here. Here. What? What the hell did I just do? Hello, game. What? You normally, I, I misclicked here somewhere. Ah, clear, that is it. Okay. Nobody, I uh, take loans, you, you remember me, uh, remember you telling me this? I'm gonna need it now. 
Oh boy. Uh, is there any cat lick in here? Oh yeah, we need to start improving with those suckers. We basically improved with the entire Echeria. They didn't care for that huge land grab we just did. Uh, we're gonna have to keep an eye on it. Because, uh... It's getting a bit hot in here. Just a, just, just a little casual. Uh, oh, shoot. Well, even the aggressive exp... Oh, well. Ah, <sighs> think. Do we start the integration of Catalonia and Leon? Probably. The idea of me not having enough... A lot of us. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I say. Anyways, uh, 554 and 48. Should be, uh, I'll just influence them both. Whatever. Cannot afford. Uh, there. I think I should be starting to integrate it. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh. Right. Heard by a cent. Reformation. Sit a bit? On what? Chill? We, we chilled already yesterday. Yeah, we don't chill. We'll see. Even have enough to prep to start integrating these suckers. Let's see if we got it. What a month. Eh. How long is that minus three dip rep still active? 1580. Oh, we should be starting it, I guess. Uh, 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 maybe just wait until after 1580. But yeah, God knows when we'll be at peace again. <laughs> so, uh, let me see here. 1614, April. 1623. Ah, we should be starting Catalonia already. They seem to be a whole damn lot bigger. It's like 100 difference. I suppose we could start California already, but it would be a waste of diplomats for 4 or 5 years. Now, nah, I'm gonna improve it the entire HV and, and first consider our other move. What I was looking at is, is killing the coalition by making Yemen full co belligerent. France is at war. Wait, what? Austria didn't even defend the Empire? You're kidding me, right? You know that I can integrate Scottish vassals whenever. Yeah, you're telling me to Scottish Catalonia and Leon, right? But I've had nothing but trouble with Scottish vassals, man. Because they don't take debt, you cannot pay it off, and then blah, 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 blah. It's like, meh. Like this, for example, you can really keep them loyal. Hmm. Nice to chip my troops back and then, and, and then just call in the other... I, I shouldn't be doing this. 
We could call in the Ottomans to do the job. I don't see any, any other war we, we will start around here anytime soon that we should be uh, calling them into. We'll just lean on the Ottomans on this one. Those reasons. And you folks... Eh. I really need some cannons around here, though. Oh, well. The rebels are more important. I, I don't want separatism. So whatever. It is a way to integrate and wild. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you mean. You're right. Right. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll be damned. God damn it. That's what you get if you don't pay attention. Is there anybody else? I'm gonna push below. Nope. Not that I can see. Oh, that Bohemia is close. Eh, uh oh, you should focus first on the guys that are up here, like this Holland. There. Oh my god. Num 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 says the PLC. I really want them to unrival me, but even then I can't ally them. If France now allies the Commonwealth and forms a triple alliance block with, with France, Brandenburg and the PLC, we're, we're done for. <laughs> Watch them do it. What? Oh, great. Coalition war, isn't it? What? Refuse to join us? Ah, oh, come on. Don't give me this bullcrap game. You should have paused it when the game declared. And then I could have seen why they don't want to ally. Ah, uh, oh, man. Don't make me bird that. I hate that stupid bug. If you go speed 3, it, it would pause the moment they declare. And because it was speed 4, they didn't. Gosh darn it, why did they dishonor that? Ah, sod this, I'm birding that. Stupid bugs? Why does the, why does that message setting not work as designed? It's likely the low, uh, it's likely the low dipper, but I need to be informed. <sighs> oh well, we didn't have a dipper guy anyway. Oh my god, now we're in trouble. <laughs> the only way we can re-ally the Ottomans is by uh, piecing out within the day. Why? Well, look a bird. I wanted to know, chat, why they dishonor. I don't mind them dishonoring, but I want to know why. It's likely the low dip rep. They don't have debt, so that's not it. So why, why are they doing it? It makes no sense. Why did they dishonor that? Might be time to turn on the Ottomans. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you gods. It's still tempting to do it. It's likely because of the uh, legitimacy. I am going to burn it. Because normally this shouldn't happen. Normally the game should pause. And, and if, for example, you then see that the Ottomans dishonor at minus one point because of low legitimacy... Because of low dip rep, and that, that, then I could spend thousand points to increase it and make them honor it again. Oh well. I, I just... Dishonoring a... No, 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 Teddy Shar. I, I, I am not talking about that. I got a message setting that if any nation... Message settings over here. Those That one is buggy. It's, uh, it's a message setting. If you get declared upon, it, it should pause the game... The moment, the day you get declared upon. But if you go speed 4-ing or speed 5-ing, it sometimes pauses also for other message settings only after 2 or 3 days because the game is likely running too fast to... to uh. My point being, normally if, you get, if the game pauses on the day you get declared, you can go to your allies and see, hover over the call to arms button to see why they are honoring or dishonoring. And then you could still solve it by gifting them, uh, by upping your legitimacy, by by hiring a dip rep guy, and they would still they would still do that. And I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna just reset this, kill the game, and go speed three. 
They will declare it, but I want to see if I can get the Ottomans back in again. Because this is just stupid. I hate when message settings bug out. They should pause it on the day you get declared, but we didn't pause it on the day... Oh, well. Let me see. It makes no sense. They, no, they, they have no debt. They have no nothing. So I think they're actually dishonoring for only a couple points due to low dip rep. If I can trigger the coalition to declare on me and make the Ottomans honor it, I want to do it. So what was I going to look at? Uh, yeah, when the war started. It paused me on the 15th and it started on the 14th. See? It paused the day too late. So, brack you, game. Sorry. If stuff like that bugs out, I just don't want to... I want to just see if the Ottomans... It's going to be the same result. I don't think I can make the uh, the Ottomans honor it, but I want to see why. Gosh done it. Pause the game on the 15th, and, and <laughs> the war started on the 14th. I'll just go speed 3, and then this stupid bug doesn't happen. It's not like I'm birding the war. I want to do the war. But I just want to use the message settings to see why stupid allies are dishonoring. Ugh. Oh well. Yeah, I eat for you, Bob. Yeah, I'll show you how to use it, Tidesar. And eat E3, Bob. And whoever that doesn't like birding. I only do it when bugs interfere with the game. Oh man, I make really stupid mistakes like uh, declaring with diplomatic and salt CB because it's at the top rather than uh, imperialism who is right below it. It's not like I'm birding the war away. It's not like I'm gonna get 15 allies just to avoid that war. I just want to see if I can uh, donation-based diplomacy the Ottomans into the war. Donation-based opinion forming? I, or, uh, hey, I'm more legitimate, join my war. It's kind of cheesy, though, because the AI declares that war, thinking that the AI will dishonor. But if message settings allow you to pause the game on the war declaration, it should be working as designed that you can quickly sway your allies to actually join the war. Oh, it was the 15th of December, right? Yeah. Too hard. Oh, man. I hope you can understand why I'm doing this, Birdman. I just want to see why the Ottomans are dishonoring. And see if I can still solve it. We don't have a dip rep guy, so that's trouble. Okay, if I go to speed three, they uh they'll do it. So normally you should get a call to arms button here. Oh man, and this is trouble. My if that war fires, my, my entire troops are out of whack here. I should never have done So the war is gonna fire, and I just want to see why they declare it. Declared on the 14th last time. Hey, what? Ah, come on! Don't tell me he's not gonna declare now. What? Hey, hello! Ah, oh, come on! I wanted to fight the war. You gotta be kidding me! Now they're all of a sudden not gonna fight. Game please, I didn't want to burn the war. Hello, declare. There we go. See, and now it pauses on the day. Now it pauses on the day. And now we could see it. Let me see. I'll show you, uh, Tideraz or whoever it was. Tideshar. Now the game paused on the war declaration. And now you can see over here. Yeah, see? This is what I expected. <laughs> I can seize my way uh, into uh, making them accept I'm going to take a show of water break. If I spend all my mill points now on upping my legitimacy, he'll accept that. And he will join the war. And France will go like, wait, what? He wasn't supposed to join. Be my back.
So now we've proven it, the game was just buggy. It should have paused it on the day it, they declared. Because, but if the game runs at speed 4 or 5, some message settings bug out and don't pause the game. Okay, uh, so diplomatic reputation minus 1, eh? I think we could fix that. Do we want to spend our favors here? Ah, likely first. Spend the uh, mill power. I don't like doing that though because France. Don't oh, they're at tech 15. Oh, your gods! And I, I'm, I'm sitting on tech 13 here. Well, that's not good. But it's likely the only way. Uh, I think I'm gonna spend the favors first. Hmm. How much does this thrust increase it again? willingness to join a war and I totally forgot well we can handle the Mamluks and everybody else on our own so there and I don't know if that actually fixes it already let's see no it didn't do a damn thing what I'm gonna have to up that shoot 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 here that government, then, I guess. I don't want civil war. So, we should go all the way here. Oh, man, I really despise spending points like that. But oh well, needs must, so 78. We got us Monoglu di Dynasty, by the way, and that's why we got low, uh, low legitimacy. And now, see? Papa, this is what our message settings for. You could call this cheesy, but now, well, because they it pauses on the day they declare the call to arms, the Ottomans they will actually accept it now. They will actually accept it. <laughs> so I hope you understand why I uh, didn't want, why I wanted to see why they dishonored. Oh my god. I, I, I just have to bail here. I cannot fight that. We should just go back and focus on the coalition members over here. Ah, uh, oh shoot! My boats! I forgot about my boats. I should done it. Get out! Out, 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 out! There. Okay. Uh, all the other ones. Oh, you gods. Come to, uh... Well, I should be going inside the fort somewhere, so there. Hi there, Ensign. Things are getting interesting. Militaristic France with Tech 15 is declaring coalition war on us. Oh, we had Tech 13. We just cheesed the Ottomans into the war with message settings. Hmm. He's hiding. Well... I'm glad you are. The thing is, I, I would kind of want them somewhere safer. Like, I don't know. Well, we could always move him uh, to Madeira, but yeah, France is just gonna whoosh this. Well, maybe go to the islands. I don't think they will naval invaded, right? Go hide in there. I don't think anybody will uh, interfere with that. <laughs> Let's just say the coalition had enough of my stunt over here. We just did a major land grab of Castile and got all the cores from my vassal back into. Uh, we got all that, and that, that was the uh, now the coalition is. It, it's likely the co that the coalition war is firing because France took tech 15, by the way. They consider themselves so powerful now. They kind of are. Oh well. Oh, and the, the, the goal would now be probably to release some nations out of the Ottomans and please the coalition that way. If you want to do that, you uh, have to. Uh, they have to occupy all the cores, for example, from a nation like uh, old Serbia. Or Wallachia? Oh, we could release Wallachia. Something. 
Oh, come on, what navy? Ah, opportunistic piece of crap. Yeah, we're just gonna get get pushed back into the. Uh, I don't think I, I can route because we were actually. Uh, he's gonna be pushed back into the vassal fort. Oh, come on, man. Ah, oh, we can. That's interesting. Expect it. That. Uh, uh, okay. What? Stay there, damn it. Is Malaki still alive? I don't think so. Ah, oh, there, yeah, okay. Well, we could co return to Malaki then. We just gotta see, man. So let's see. Sometimes you could even en enter the. Uh, end the war instantly by releasing Medina by hmm oh, I guess not it's not enough is it ah, this one. well I could end the war quickly by just giving Tunis back some stupid land. <laughs> Do we care? I really don't mind to put uh, Tunis back on the map. So would you actually accept that? I just want to see what's possible. Ah, he only wants... Yeah, I don't think you can force him to do vassal cores. Hi there, uh, my re what? We watched the finale of your two hour of Timuron, yeah. Don't have enough time, but I really have to say that was an insane run. <laughs> One of the best players who ever played the game. Ah oh, man. I had my days where I was a lot better than this. When I was writing my after action reports, my pre uh I was actually a lot better. Because we micro better and we, we, we focus better and whatnot. But yeah, the the, the air of Timuron was planned ahead for that final push with truth breaking and whatnot. I think it was very lucky though that I managed to pull it off. Oh well. We'll just have to wait I guess. So who is fighting uh who's fighting yeah France <sighs> the problem is they won't focus on the Ottomans. They'll go whoosh in here, 10 to 1. But uh, Davisir, Hyderabad, and Yemen might enable me to... Uh, man, should I even fight this, I wonder? <sighs> no. You could stand and fight. But standing and fighting over there is likely a bad idea. I think... Let, let Castile, uh, let France deal with my Castilian rebels. <laughs> Fighting ahead. Let France deal with my Castilian rebels and then peace out. And I need to, uh... Start improving so no co new coalition forms. As usual, I'm not panicking. This will be fine. Let's just see them all, shall we? I don't think anybody uh, is even able to get out of that coalition. Yeah, Venice. Was Venice actually in the war? Yeah, plus 70. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Lorraine, not necessary. Wurttemberg, not necessary. I think we're fine. No. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Who is this here? Mains, eh? If I take land from the coalition. <laughs> when it. Means then, I guess? Brabant is also uh, somebody I need to prove. The rest will be fine, I think. I should be focusing at least one guy. And keeping the positive guys out of it. Uh huh. Oh uh, yeah, Holland. 
Weren't we improving with Holland already? It's there. Oh, God. Ah, don't tell me you mud... Ah, it's a capital fort. Don't tell me you mud bold your forts. Yeah, he mud bold his forts, of course. We can only hope now that France does not have a lot of troops in their mainland. And do I build up? I, I shouldn't be fighting this. But then again, if if I can occupy Dawasir, I didn't think of that. We might win this war, actually. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. What the hell did I just do there? No, 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 I'll sort this. I'll do it manually. There, something like that. March on Davosius capital. It, it, it's actually not a too bad coalition. They'll all focus on me in the north, but over here... It's kind of really lucky that, da that France was at war. Otherwise, they will, would have likely declared a war. But now it's Davosi. Oh, man, I don't remember. It's been ages since I actually triggered a coalition war. If you fully occupy the leader that declares it, it used to be a time where, where then, then they would be really willing to peace out immediately. But I don't think that works anymore, unfortunately. Yeah, grab some rebels, man. Eat some rebel pie. Oh, God. France on tech 15. D do I even want to know? Are they, at, are they at full morale yet? I think so. L let's wait until April. I want to see their morale. It's likely going to be 6 or 7 or so. And wait a minute. There might still be a crusade going on against us here. Do I even want to know? Oh, what? 7.52 morale in 1577. I, I think I'm gonna apply the same strategy the AI does. Run away! He has like 3 morale points on me thanks to Tech 15. That is just insane. Yeah, Crusade, that's what I thought. Oh my. I, I <laughs> right. Run away, I say. We can never win that. I, I should eat. I cannot even fight France. It, it's just flat out impossible. It's just flat out impossible. I, I, and I'm gonna have to declare. Ah. Uh, and I, I, I this, if now the Ottomans dishonor me when Mamluks or whoever attacks, and I'm done for. Three areas this close to two coalitions. So. Just keep on microing. Got anything? A dip. <laughs> ah. Oh. So it does look like. Uh, whoops. It does look like uh, the Ottomans are focusing south, which is not bad. How is the tech of all these nations? Ah, it's so crappy. We should be going for some battle war score here. The more, the better. Right. Well, Palatine. Didn't I just improve it? All those suckers. Yeah, they won't join the war any. But Augsburg. Oh, twenty-one is safe. I guess. I think I'm just gonna refire a spy network on France to uh, to take up. 
to the bear. Awesome. Oh my god. I'm an under thousand angry French in here already. This is not too bad though. Let let them eat rebel pie. When is the uh, the Mamluk? I should declare on the Mamluks during all this because I think most of their allies are fighting the war in the coalition. So when is that? March 1578. I should prepare for that. If you go like, wait, what? Declaring a war while half the world is coalitioning you? Yeah, sure. Why not? Hadrumid, Mara, and Yemen, which are all in the other war, so yeah, this is gonna be pretty easy, in fact. So, uh, all these guys should probably stick around here. And I could use some more cannons in there. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Meet up over there. Just force them out some more cannons. Okay. There. Building more than Oh come on, game. Why do do I really have to do this manually? Why don't you build it over there? To put templates. Wait, what? Eh what? It said plus one in there. Oh one. Yeah, twenty five cannon more than nine ten. Just chat on about. If you want to talk to me, folks, then please tag me. Bit busy, to say the least. We are spy network in France. Ah, boy. Prove it on a broke. And, uh, is there any fossil of mine that needs some love it? Really? Yeah, Portugal. <laughs> Why did I even vassalize this sucker, I wonder? Oh well. Let me think, what else do we need to do? Do we need a claim on somebody? Most of the guys are fighting over here. I don't think we need one. Oh, you're going back in here to go versus... Uh, sure. Try catching those suckers. Look, look at that. The Ottomans are actually... Uh, Focusing on this, maybe I should really cancel the cannons and just go for the Mamluks with the cannons we have. Save it a ducat or two. Hmm. Ahead. Mamluks, what do you even have left? Cannot be that much. Um. 25,000 with a force limit of... Uh, I just want to overrun them. Ah, they, they do have a couple provinces in here. Okay, we compute. There. You move there. There, you go back. Got land in here. A little bit over there. I want to wipe out the Mamluks while the, half of their allies... Well, all of their allies are actually in the war with me here. So, oh, wait a minute. Do I even have a CB on the Mamluks? What? Don't tell me I don't have a CB on the Mamluks. Don't tell me I don't have a CB on the Mamluks. No, I don't have a CB on the Mamluks. Idiot that I am. I I'm an idiot. Took the last uh, claim we perm claim we had. 
Ah, oh, could you kindly kill my rebels already now? Three point five years. Oh man, maybe I should just look at uh I don't know if I want to fight. I don't think we can win it. Ah, oh, come on, really? Yeah, I should just go and occupy some stuff in here. The Ottomans seem to be doing a, a good job over here. And now, of course, they're not focusing on them anymore. Come on, game. I really have to order you to do that. At least it was Davos here. France would have declared a coalition, or they could have called in Brandenburg, making it a hell of a lot harder. Ah, dick. Could also pop your door tower. Shut up. Fitting music. <laughs> the gates of Constantinople. Oh, well, they're not quite there yet. They're actually not focusing on me at all. Come on. Come on. They're sitting on that at 99%. Really now? Now they're never going to focus on the Ottomans, Eve. It's really tempting to peace out for uh, something else here. I should keep a diplomat. On something or somebody. Oh, man. I might have to just give in here. Because uh, getting my entire nation occupied, I should recall somebody and check it. Because I'm... I don't think we can cheese this by uh, releasing stuff out of the Ottomans. Wait, what? Antwerks was explaining about force that the AI spends money on force limit. Yeah, that, that bug is still in the game, and that's why the Ottomans almost never upgrade their forts. 
unless they go trade and uh, trade and economic. The Ottomans in here have gone trade and economic, so they will upgrade their forts. What is happening usually is because uh, the AI takes offensive in here, and because the uh, because the Ottomans have an idea that have uh, increases their force limit. There used to be uh, an AI script in the game that an AI is forced to build up to 60% of their force limit. No matter what. Then they installed an naval AI script on top. That is actually overriding it, I think. But I think the, the Ottomans are still building up to 60%. But point being, if the Ottomans then don't have trade or economic, they don't have the uh, economy and the income to maintain that army and have a surplus to invest on buildings, meaning they actually never upgrade their forts, which makes them so easy, easy to deal with uh, late game. Bug reported that, of course, and it did get changed a little, but you still see the problem occurring. You have to watch that as well, and I have to try it out. Try what out? Sorry. And ah, stupid coalition war. Okay, uh, they will never. It's not gonna. Uh, is there anything else showing up? Yeah, Montenegro. Because uh, <laughs> okay, we're getting somewhere. Mm. So. If they occupy all that, we might even release Bosnia. <sighs> Maybe I should consider piecing out right now and just giving up some land. I wouldn't mind giving up some Tunisian land, for example. But the problem is, I don't think you can give up land from your vassals that is not occupied. What we also could do is uh, give back land to the Mamluks. And then just take it back in the war we're gonna start. <laughs> it would work. But he doesn't want me to uh, give back land to them. And we're not gonna give back land to Castile. No, thank you very much. Eh, cancel subjects is also something we should be considering. I could cancel the vassal of Algiers. And then just kick his ass again. Uh, do we still have the perma claims? Yeah, can anybody tell me, if you cancel a subject where you have permaclaims on, do you lose the permaclaims? Or would you still keep them? Ah, uh, oh, come on, bird, bird, give me a break. It's tempting to do that. It's a piece of sand that I'll use. With one fort. I could likely end the war right now. Not recompute. Is there anybody that might declare on me and make the Ottomans dishonor here? Is there anybody having a CB on me? Venice, maybe? Uh, Venice is in... No, they're not in the war. I don't think Venice has a CB. Hmm. Yemen won't do it. Ethiopia might, though. Yeah, Ethiopia might declare on me. It's a really big they might, but they might. The Ottomans are not dishonoring ten to one. But point being, what what I'm what I'm considering is, is it worth it to sit on this? I should peace out, I think, before the Ottomans dishonor me in any other war. Would you folks release that out gears? It's really tempting for me to do so. In Age of Absolutism, I can just reconquer that piece of sand. And it might actually make all my other subjects pretty... ...hush darn loyal. M m me losing our gears is really not... And, and, and I'm the only one that can actually attack him, apart from Tunis. So this is tempting to do. Annex them now? Uh, but it will be... It will be I don't even want to land. Okay, we need it for the mission tree. But it's so crappy development. 
You'd appreciate the ability to walk through? Yeah, 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 but we don't need the ability to walk through. But you're not wrong. We, we own land over here, so... Great land for a march? Yeah, I've been considering making them a march. Uh, I should wait until Davasir is fully occupied. Davasir is making gains. Raising my eyebrow. It's probably because France is making uh, gains a bit of us. Hmm. So we can already do 33% out of the Ottomans. Is it on that the AI enforces more of that? I sincerely doubt it. Uh, we should at least, at the very least, wait until they are uh, fully occupied. I, I don't, I don't think I can push them, but I'm gonna keep speed treeing here. The battle war score might actually help us out here. <laughs> it's declared on Greece. What? God damn it! <sighs> Maybe I should peace out right now. I think I'm gonna lose war score faster than I'm gaining it here. Is there anything we can release from over here? Like Albania or something? Serbia, maybe. Yeah, what cores do Serbia still have? This, that, and that. And that, and that. Now, oh, we might release Serbia in the end. Because the AI can fully occupy all... Ah, no. Can't. Because Belgrado would have to need to be occupied. <laughs> yeah, there is a buff speed 3. I'm, I'm not going speed 4 because I don't want to trigger that bug again with the... Uh, where uh, the message settings don't pause the game if anybody else declares on me. Oh man, it's tempting to peace out right now. And it's also tempting to consider releasing Portugal here. We vassalized them, but they're never gonna become loyal. They're still at minus 300 here. We would need at least 150 years. Uh, I, I am sorry, I'm gonna consider peacing out here. This is just not worth it. So, cancel Portugal, that's also 33. Uh, we vassalized them in hopes of doing the mission tree and whatnot. They, they have a really powerful uh, Caribas over here. But it, uh, we're never going to get them loyal, and I don't like a perma vassal going this loyal because then I don't see if another vassal will go loyal, uh, this loyal, and get support. So I'm tempted to piece him out and just expel him from Europe and be done with it. Ah, yeah. Look at that. We can actually do that. If we release... Can we release anything else? I can live with releasing... I can live with releasing them. The War Declarer is uh, fully... Uh, well, I can live with this. Ah, oh, come on. Really now? Does not want the gold. Yeah, what then? Uh... I don't know. What do you want? War operations. I don't want to give up my state in here. Well, we still own that. Too bucked. Hey, to, do you want me to give Tubak back? Yeah, he does. Ah, look at that. That looks like a good deal. That looks like a good deal. I would only lose a disloyal subject that I never wanted in the first place. Gainzel of that said, yeah. Make him, uh... Make him, uh, you know. Vassalize them, but they're just sitting, uh... 
I like this piece too. I really do. I'm gonna end it right now because I don't want France to get more war score here. And I don't want rebels and I don't want anything else. The downside is that I would have to fight Yemen and all the allies from uh, the Mamluks again. But I don't care about that one. We can do that. About 57. Psh. Could push for a little bit more war score. Ah, no. I should piece this one out. Who was uh, the Mamluks uh, ally to? Hadrum, Admara, and Yemen. Oh, I am so not afraid of that. We could just go and occupy them all over again. I should end this. Right now. Well, do come again, Coalition. And this is why it's so important to have message settings. If it wasn't for those message settings, we would never have gotten uh, the Mamluks in to release some nations. Okay, that was uh, not too bad. <laughs> we didn't lose a damn thing, apart from a disloyal subject. And now I'm really curious. Ah, we lost the claims in there. Well, that's good to know. I think we had perma claims in there. So if you cancel a subject where you have perma claims on, you actually do get the uh, you actually do get them back. And I now I think no coalition can. F ah, shoot. Ah, uh, I'm an idiot. I didn't think about one thing, did I? The Pope was not in the war. Was the Pope in the war? Yeah, the Pope was in the war, but Venice and Austria could still join this. Could make a new coalition with the Mamluks, I think. Was Savoy okay in that war? Yeah, they were. What about Genoa? Yeah, okay. So how many do we have now? One, two, I think it's only three. I don't think there's a fort around here that didn't get involved, so I think we're safe. Oh well, do come again. Thank thanks for your uh giving me a truce and all that. Now we can just focus on the rebels again. And on converting and, and on whatever. Uh go back protecting trade in Genoa because reasons. Not collecting five in there. I'm still not sure if it would be better to put him here. There. Ah, but that power projection is also going low. Hmm. Computer. Oh. I could start privateering the Brits, but it would also anger these guys. Can anybody tell me, how does that opinion malice from piracy work these days? Do nations get like an event for that minus 100 we got pirated? Or is it just at random? Or uh, I don't want these, uh, the entire, uh, well, how many people would actually have? It would be Friesland once. It can only happen on coastal ones, right? We got pirated. It's tempting to send pirates versus Great Britain. It's a monthly tick? Really? Okay. Uh, is there also an easy way of finding out where the nation has its trade capital? If France has the trade capital somewhere over here, which I sincerely doubt. No, he doesn't have his, capi his trade capital over there, so where is it? Oh, come on. Is there an easier way of finding out? Is it in Genoa? Yeah, it is. There we are. He put his trade capital in Provence. Oh, that's tempting. That's tempting. Let's go privateer uh, the Spanish then. It's really tempting. So I should be sending uh, probably 20 to Great Britain. Privateer the channel and 10 on Genoa. Yeah, but privateering in, 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 in one where you're collecting... Ah, well, power projection is more important, I guess. We can pure. Privateer. Genoa. <laughs> Whatever. Wait, what? Why is that only plus nine? I thought... 
privateering with 10 boats in a, in a main node of a nation always gave plus 10. So what gives game? <sighs> so much of pack stuff in this game I just don't have a clue about. Privateer, English Channel. And now it's 71 because we, we get France... Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> whatever! Just go Privateer. Meanwhile, we're getting the prestige to form our empire. Hmm. And what was I even converting? Question. <laughs> Don't know. That one? No. Just can't convert it. Uh, we could likely do this one also. Ah, uh, no, we can't. Because we cannot put the, uh... It's too much... Any nation with more than 20% trade power in the node gets the relation balance. That is very helpful, CP Turk. Can can anybody Is it on the wiki? When do you get that has pirated us? Oh well. I was just a little bit afraid that that, that it would push all these guys into coalition. But you're telling me that Yeah, that only Great Britain. Ah, uh, Holland also has 22%. So yeah, only Holland and Britain would get in, uh, would get the piracy, not the rest. Well, I can live with Holland in a coalition. Hmm. We'll just see. Just see. Our, uh, I should be focusing on rebels more than anything else here. Yep. Uh, who is it now? Yemen and Thais and Maka. Ah, uh, they should spawn in there, I, su I suppose. Any country that would have more than 15%. Ah, very interesting, CB Turk. That is very helpful. A minus one opinion modifier per month. Yeah, well, I could send privateers again to Great Britain and... and, and oh, I can't. Uh, we'll see if that's still correct. I really hope not that Portugal re allies uh, Castile. <laughs> or just, you're just so dead, man, if I kill Castile. And I think that truce will actually be uh, almost the exact same time. Yeah, two years. So in 1593, we're just gonna bash Castile up again and, and, and full annex and boat. Better than. Uh... Oh, this is gonna be good. Uh, oh well. Anyways, uh, do I have a claim on the Mamluks or not? Uh, what? Uh, they will cancel that transfer trade power, right? Oh, come on. Uh, do I have a claim that I overlooked? Uh, colonialism casts Belai on the, on the Mamluks? Oh, because we separated this land, it's actually in Asia. Yeah, so we do have a Cassus Belai on them. So I don't need this. Okay. Sure. You can go with that and then just spend bird mana to get that. Okay. Uh, recompute. Do we need a Cassus Belai on this Joker, maybe? Ally to Kara. Doki? No, but that's... that's... not... that... urgent yet. Ah, uh, what is urgent though? Is there anybody else apart from, uh... Mamelucks that we should be getting a claim on? Ah, uh, Hadramud maybe? No, Hadramud wasn't the, uh... I don't see anybody. Not really. Maybe consider getting allies? Still nobody likes.
Black says. <laughs> uh, any big nation around here that wants to ally us? Oh, come on, man. I really want to ally Timmy or Bahmanis, but it, it's just not happening, is it? I need the AI to shift rival patterns. So many people have rivaled us. <sighs> well, well, what? Resend the guy to the Timurids, hope he changes his mind. Why not? I really wonder if going over 100 makes an AI more keen to make, go friendly towards you. There. We'll see. I want the Timmy as allies. No, you cannot get access. Get out. Ah, shoot. I'm such a derp. What's the new coalition form now? Because... No, I think it's not on. I think it's not on, but yeah, if, if it was on, what's, the Mamluks could have formed a coalition with all those jokers. Right, so... You would assume... Yeah. Just wait and, until the uh, 1st of March. Uh, so they're going to war. 90... Oh, oops. You know what's funny? I could do double war against the Mamluks. They haven't landed in Cyprus yet. If I vassalize that Greece, we could double. Yeah, it's gonna be way too much aggressive expansion, but oh well. It's worth a thought. What? Ah, oh, come on! Sod off your trade power. Didn't I order that stupid cannon to go there? And hey, Timmy. Oh, An AI switching friendly is so a puck. We got shared rivals. Might be worth it to start integrating all my subjects now. Because, yeah, co coalition danger in Europe is pretty much gone. But if we hit the Mamluks, I might have to improve it everybody again around here. And, uh, I think. Be a month. So, 1593, 1590. We could annex Leon right now, and then start integration of Catalonia in the, uh, after the Mamluckian War, and, and hope that it ends both at once. Yeah, wait a minute, you're a derp. It's Catalonia, you need to start then. Yeah. So, there. Uh, these guys really don't don't matter anymore. So let's recall everybody back and focus. Am I still coring stuff? Yeah. In hindsight, I never should have spent those favors with the Ottoman bit of off. Hmm, think. Is there anything else I need to do before we start warmongering again? We started on our vassals. Uh, nobody gives a damn about... Nobody big is uh, ready to ally us. <sighs> nobody is... Uh, 
I can't think of anything. We did set uh, everybody as a rival, right? Yeah. Whatever chat says, Holland is not getting minus one. So that wiki is likely wrong, as I suspected. I remember something reading in a patch note about nations pirating malice opinion or whatever. We might have changed it, that 15% rule, uh, CB Turk. But you were the one that told me that. 15%. Oh, wait a minute. It <laughs> Pirates have 12%. Actually making four ducats. Not bad. Four ducats. 32 out of trade. Not bad either. Yeah, which, which, yeah. That's a good point. Not something we were gonna do. Pull you out. Eh. Oh, whatever. Think about you to be, uh, those. Now, what else were the, uh, Napoli, eh? Ah, uh, Hmm. 2%. How much would that cost me? Oh, a thousand ducats! You're shitting me. It's so tempting to give Napoli already also to the traders and just not convert it. Hmm. People would be up in arms against me though. We care. So it's not really. The money's. So there, long run. That is likely better. Okay, are we sitting on any other center of trade? We, we are converting, uh, transferring from the vassals, right? Yes, we are. Good. Transfer that trade. Nobody's actually disloyal. Something else to consider. Do we make our gears into a march? I don't think I'll ever integrate that piece of sand. It is necessary for the uh, for the mission tree somewhere. I should be the mission tree actually gives claims all the way up to Iraq. If we integrate our gears, we can go into there and then into here and then into uh, there. So maybe I shouldn't be marching them up and integrate them anyway. But I would have to. I would likely get too many territories. Piece of crap. Ah, uh, man, I really want to follow the mission tree, but it's just... Why does that mission tree not say that I can own it in... Oh, this is so stupid. Why can I not shove it into a vassal for this one? Owned by Andalusia. Yeah, CB Turk. Maybe they still... My fleet just arrived and maybe they'll get it next month. It's, uh, it might also, yeah, point 0.1, that means it's slower to 10%. See, the wiki is wrong on many things. I did, I did see something changed in there, and that is likely what it said, that it, that it got changed to 10%. Oh, okay, I'll leave it up to chat. What will we do? Follow the mission tree and integrate that stupid piece of sand, which I don't want, or make him a march. Your, you folks can choose. My gut feeling is saying, yeah, just march him up and sub the mission tree. You more folks might think differently. That march might give me more force limit, more whatever. They have some force. Eh. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we, uh, we have to do before going. Well, oh yeah, there is. Consider, uh... What to do with this here? Man, I, I really I don't have the uh, I don't have the state slots. God damn it! I don't have the state slots to do anything with this. Should should I be killing the state? I don't think so. We we we, we never. Oh, ah, it's a bad idea. I uh, will we'll just sit on the land, I guess, and and, and not. Oh, oh well. I really don't want to up the autonomy to... Oh, oh well. Why can't we solve this? 
Who's gonna declare on the Mamluks now? Whatever. Timmy has uh, miraculously seen the light. They have. So, okay. Take colony and the Ottomans would join in on. on <laughs> Forget about it, Ottomans. Do that on my own. Under with Mara in Yemen. We can make Mara full co belligerent. Yeah, right. I'll sub this. We'll just uh, go kick ass now. Take colony Bisna. I want Tyfe, man. Tyfe is in my state over here. <laughs> Who am I even kidding? We don't have the uh, the every the anything to actually stay that up. Wait, what? Oh, that was not my intent. Why do I still have horses? <laughs> horses. In case you're wondering why I don't I like horses on very hard mode, cavalry is a waste. Because most of the battles will be full combat with. And while fighting battles on full combat with, cavalry is not worth it. Not one bit. Because they won't flank. It might, it might be worth it if you get like crazy bonuses to cavalry combat ability as an Eastern nation or whatnot. But without. Meh, I say. How am I doing today? Ah, oh, fine, man. Just a nice relaxing campaign like uh, in the Lassie, right? Kill, kill off some Christians. Betray some allies. Kick some ass. Nothing fancy. Eh. Nah, uh, he has two seats. I don't... I don't think... It's tempting to overrun the Mamluks. But I don't think I can bypass that career for it, so let's just sit there. Betray some allies? Yeah, we, we just got coalition war declared on, and, and we released some nations out of the Ottomans to help out. Of course, they don't care. Or our betrayals. The game just works like that. Okay. Anyways. Who will hate it if we do horrible? Horrible things to you. Hmm. Yeah, what do we want? We don't have the state slots. Uh, the connection would actually be pretty nice, and I can shove it in uh, our gears. Because reasons. We wouldn't need the transports anymore. It take us heartland. Oh yeah, okay. We were gonna tech up though, so what is the... Yeah, okay, planning ahead. Tech 12, we're not gonna get tech 12. Hmm. Hmm. In that case. Yeah, well, we can do preparation, right? Just take this. And that, because it's part of a good state that we could really core. Later on. I don't want the Ottomans to get their greedy fingers on it. And I should probably get rid of the border. Yeah, we should get rid of the border Mamluks and Ottomans again. Maybe just full annex the Joker around here. Yeah, he can never mind. So who would care? Nobody. <laughs> That's good. Not even the Timmy care. There's nobody in there that is not on a two, so this this is looking a-okay. But hmm, he compute. Jesus Christ. Eight, sir. Three siren trucks going by. I don't know if you folks heard it. 
I could snake my way down and border that uh, Ethiopia. In the long run... Oh, man. The problem, yeah, what I'm looking at in the long run, if we really want to continue the campaign, I should be going more for West Africa than for this land. So... <laughs> Because we can't steer from Alexandria into Genoa pretty uh, decently because Constantinople would always suck it in. So going for Ethiopia is just not worth it. Going for land around here is just like meh. I should own, own yeah, no. We should be going here and actually fabricate on Jalaf and the like. Oh, let's do that. I like that. I like that plan. We can do that already. I like to Jenny. What? Oh, man. When will they put this stupid charter company on their exploration or expansion wreck? This is so stupid. Poor buying land in Jalaf and then guaranteeing the West African. Sounds like something something the Pope would do, guaranteeing the heat. Oh, Alex, please. Do we care? Well, we don't. Bash the Pope, I say. There, get a claim on Jalaf. Why not? Hmm. Any job. We should be going for full, okay, uh, full dominance of that and steer everything into it. Well, the thing is... Compute. It's either Alexandria into Genoa, or West Africa into Sevilla. But West Africa is going to be pulled by, by Great Britain and stuff also in France. Eh. Hmm. Nah, it's never going to work. They're going to suck it out of Alexandria way more than... Uh, uh, should we go for Ethiopia or not in the long term? I don't think so. Whatever. Let's take a look at that peace deal again and see if anybody is actually uh, needing in, in need of some loving. Nope. Still, I don't trust that. Wait, you're, you're telling me that even Medina would not care? Or, or Hermuz? Why don't I believe you? Wait, what? Where the hell did her moose go? What? Okay, buy her moose then. <laughs> yeah, whatever. We'll just improve with you. There wasn't her moose here that had all that once. Okay. This is by far the most complex game you. I, I make it sound complex, Dimir. It's really not as complex as a make it sound. But yeah, it has a steep learning curve. I'll give you that. Wait, what? Oh, the entire army from the Mamluks is... Ah, oh, man, I never should have deleted the fort in Alexandria. It's tempting to just go do that now, but I can't. No. Oh, well. What religion? Uh... Wait, what? Oh, he's not talking to me, I think. We are... Uh Oh! Hey! Don't do that! Yeah, and I stupidly deleted it. Because we're an idiot. Oh, come on, really? Really now? You know what? Whatever. J just have your fun. You're talking to me? Ah, oh, we are Sunni here. We did a uh, Granada into Andalusian one once where we flipped Catholic in the end. But that was that was with a really with an Ottoman that did not take economic and trade that dishonored constantly, and where the PLC invaded the Ottomans constantly. In, in my other Granada run, we were facing a, uh, a triple alliance block, Commonwealth, France, and a huge Tuscany that owned pretty much the entire north side of the, uh, 
So I was like, yeah, my only ally, the Ottomans, is constantly calling me in on defensive war, so sub this. We actually flipped Catholic and then allied that former enemy alliance block. We had an alliance with France, with the PLC, and with Tuscany. And we killed the Ottomans in the end. That was fun. That was really fun. Oh, what? Yeah, stay there, you idiot. What? Oh, okay, stay there. It's so stupid that if you rot, they will they will leave the port still for the mission. Now go in there, have fun. I I beg you, just go, run away, sod off. Well, I just occupy your old entire shit. Sod off, man. Oh, it's actually tempting to go kick their sorry asses for the audacity to engage me there. Well, I, I shouldn't do it. I shouldn't do it. Nah, we're just fully occupying it first. So, whatever. Hence, uh... Carpet the carpet cop. A short raid tutorial? Me? I don't even know how trade works after 7,000 hours. I, I just do my gut feeling on trade. And I think we're uh, we're doing the uh, right gut feeling by collecting an Alexandrian Genoa. Wait, what? <laughs> I I'm carpeting my own nation, idiot! It's over here, you nubble nut. Basic of basic of tray is uh very easy. Yeah, the basics are very easy, but yeah, it is still a complex system that is not easy to judge. Like in my situation, okay, we're having sixty-seven percent in here, twenty percent in Genoa, and seventeen percent in there. And I was like, okay, let's collect in here then from ten ducats. And let's collect in there then for 2.90. I should actually consider moving them again. But to what? I could collect in here and I get like two ducats more. It's likely more than we're gonna get over here, but we're gonna get more power in Alexandretta. <sighs> oh, 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 Alexandretta. Alexandria. I don't even see. We, we cannot push him here. We... But why do I only have 67% by the way? Pirates. Great Britain is pirating me. Oh, Frank and Durr. Push it all to Genoa. No, Soul Crusher. Pushing is... Oh. I see 10,000 people saying that advice all the time. If you don't have 95% in, in, the, in the stuff where you're pushing, it's generally not worth it. I don't think it's worth it to put my end capital in, in Genoa already and start pushing in there. I would get less, trust me. Collecting in a, in a, in a, in a, in a node that is actually not your main node is usually a lot better than transferring. If I would transfer from... It might actually give me more if I transfer from Alexandria into Genoa. Pushing is useless for me at this point, trust me. I don't think even pushing from Alexandria and it's gonna help France and stuff more than it would help me. Oh well. You need 51% in Genoa for it to be worth it. Yeah, that's a good that's indeed a uh, a good rule of thumb. Maybe at 51% I would indeed get more if I put my trade capital there. I will see. I, I think my trade is fine. Pushing is bad. Usually you can get a whole lot more by collecting in nodes where you have a lot of power. 
that are not connected to your nodes, like collecting in here or connecting in there. It's actually giving me 10 ducats, chat, and even only at 21. So why would I start pushing? Give, give me one... I'm not saying you folks are wrong that you should be pushing, but... Ah, well. If I learn one thing about trade, is that it's never worthwhile to push with traders if you don't have uh, the trade dominance in the node where you're pushing at. Unless you're pushing into your main trade node. As Ottomans, for example, it would be worth it to push from uh, here into there and from uh, there into there. That's obvious, but if you cannot push into your main node yet, and if the node you want it, you don't have enough power, then, it's, then this is fine. Collect. Ah, uh, no. Why does he always co- I'm having enough of this. Sub this. We were gonna Im improve this tech. Rush the tech on uh, on admin. On maximum spy network. But I, I just had enough now. <sighs> I had enough. We're just gonna use 15%. Whatever, game. That's the second time when I'm near that they actually discover me. <laughs> Orange July is not, not with us today. We're just gonna loan up and, and embrace it and do it now. Unless there's something else I could spend admin on. We don't have inflation? Uh, I don't see anything. We don't have any admin ideas to push. And uh, I don't think that printing press is gonna spread to us anytime soon. So... Nah, we could wait. Normally I only do a move like this at the end of an age. 2,000 ducats is a lot. And we're already 3,000 in debt. Ah, the moment my corruption gets paid off though, we would actually gain 30 income and we would have the ability to repay all those loans. Is there anything I could spend admin on? We cannot make any more states. We cannot... I need to tack up that admin. It would actually uh, think help with paying off corruption. Oh well. Just do it. There. 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 And now we're gonna use all those tech bonuses. Tech this up for cheap. How many do we have? My network in France. 361 is really not that bad. There, there, there. Good. Now it's only uh, 0.20 unbalanced research. Well, we could up that. If we do this now. Yeah, wait a minute. Tech 11 is actually colonial range, right? So there. Okay. 0.10 unbalanced research. Good. Ah, shoot. I think we took one tech man level too many. <laughs> I don't have anything to core the Mamluks with now. Oh, well, we can sit on the war. Which nation am I playing? Uh, Granada into Andalusia, man. Uh, Andalusia is like the opposite of the re re conquista with, with uh, Castile. It's shown over here what nation that I'm playing. Al-Andalus is like the dream from the North African Sunni folk. Uh, to restore uh, the nation, to restore, what, to reconquer whatever they once held in the Middle Ages. I think this is the line, more or less. Something like this over here. They, they once owned everything below the river, uh, what's it called again? I think they once owned everything be, be below this river. And everything uh, below that river. I think that was some... That, they never went over the rivers, I think. So Al-Andalus is about forming Al-Andalus and reconquesting all the uh, Middle Ages Sunni-held land from uh, the Christians. You're a newbie? Uh, no problem, man. This is a newbie friendly channel. If you want to ask me questions, then go for it. I'm pretty vocal about what I do. I hope you can follow whatever I'm theory crafting about. But I'm the micro plan ahead use message settings player here. That pauses and never goes speed 4 or 5 and always plans 10 years ahead or 20 years ahead or 50 years ahead. Hmm. What? 
<laughs> yeah, it is funny. It's my rebels. Ah. Uh, the jars, eh? Well, we could... We could export those guys into the into the Ottomans, so I'm not gonna fight them. Whatever. They even went into South France? Yeah... But did they actually... Did they actually hold on for that? Yeah, I know they, France actually warred the uh, the Sunni. Oh, what is that war called again? Was it during the age of Charles the Great? Didn't Charles the Great do a crusade war on... on oh, I don't remember. I'm not an expert on Middle Age history, but they never, they never established a kingdom in there. They just warred against each other. They never held land in there, did they? Did any Sunni nation ever hold land in France? I don't think so. I think they just sparred a little. Be wrong though. They held land? Really? Okay. Look me up on our. I'm, I'm gonna look that up. Now it really interests me. I never even knew that. That's very interesting. When I no, it doesn't, Membovic. No, it doesn't. But what? Even if you take plutocratic and then change into a monarchy, it it, it won't change into aristocratic. It doesn't. It's actually if you play as republics, which are fracking overpowered, dispatch always go plutocratic and then an age of absolutism ditch the mon ditch the republic. Plutocratic is such an overpowered idea group. Especially if you play it around Italy and Genoa and Venice and whatnot. Oh. Plutocratic. You never see people take that, but it's so good. It has morale of armies. I, I, if I would play a Republic, normally I, I go for like defensive ideas, right? I never push it beyond the 15%. If, if I would be playing a Republic, I, I would pick... I would pick uh, plutocratic. No, I cannot even see it, can I? I would pick plutocratic as first idea group all the time. All the Franken times. It was not Andalusia in France. That was the Umayyad Caliphate. What? Did Toulouse really got held by the Sunni? Okay, I didn't know it. Thanks, chat. That's really interesting. It's really interesting. Ah, uh, maybe we just should go and kill him. Oh, really now? Well, we could await the rebels in there. That is also a Jazzy core, but I don't have. I don't have any leaders anymore, and I, I don't think. I ah, know my my heir is only four years old. I don't want to fall into a regency because we make our king a general. God damn it! Just stay there. What? Sheer rebels? You're kidding me, right? Oh, man. How can you... Oh, well. Yeah, okay, Gun. That's also a fair point. Rebels. So annoying. We do some mill points. And we get, uh... When can we get those mill points again? Now I need to be forget about it. Hmm... I should really be doing this. But it would increase the revolt risk in anything the uh yeah, it might actually trigger huge revolt risk in Castile. Meh, I say. Is there anything we need to convert still? Costello? Hmm. Micro, micro, micro away. La, 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 la. Okay, any other send stuff that is uh, doable and cheap? Madeira, eh? Wait, did I never. I, I never converted Madeira? Oh, it's still, it's still on, that edict. Oh, my God. Yeah, they developed Madeira into the sky. Oh, it's on Duval at 24. Uh, unless we get a missionary advisor. 
Ah, we could roll for one. Oh well. A treasure. Ah, come on. If you, if you want an advisor, you never get the type you want. And if you don't, you can rest assured that you get him right away. It's tempting to make my ruler a Franken general here. 1591 for Castile. Think. That's 12 years away. So the air. Uh, I can live with a regency. But. Uh, 34. Maybe then again not. I need more general. Uh, we should just wait. How, how much uh, army tradition do we have? 50. We should just wait. Not give a damn about these guys, I guess. What I also could do is get this guy out. Uh, oh. Idiot! This way. There, get, a, get that general out. Use him against the double. And you folk, seize that and that. Well, I can likely peace out Yemen already, so why even bother? Question. Potter, I should get him out. Pronto. And the spy network. Whatever. So, hi Yemen. How would you like to annul? With everybody and their mother. Leave me alone. I need to fabricate on you then to wipe you out. Uh, Hadrumid and Mara. Mara will give up. Foster that. Game, please give me what I want. Thank you very much. No! Okay then. Too much, is it? There then. Piece. Oh, we could shove it all inside our gears and make him a march. For the mission 3, I say sod the mission 3. I just don't like Paradox enforcing me to integrate this piece of sand just to do a mission 3. We'll just shove it all in there for the connection that I don't need transport to. Nobody cared, which I don't understand why, but no what? Davos here. to do to get it I would I just don't understand it in games like Crusader Kings 2 you can pick whatever advisor you want and then in more enlightened times they say nope that is not allowed must be me I guess must be stupid or something for not understanding that oh Yemen separatists right I need to go kill Castilians also. Ah, oh, just come back to all the What a... Tank. Uh, Yemen separatists. Well, that doesn't matter. We can kill them with these guys. Oh. So, two folks come back. Folks, 
also come here and then we can build our own these guys. Is dishonoring? Why would Timmy be dishonoring? Hey, Timmy. Ah, it was not too many relations. Important message setting right there. Dishonoring might have made them uh, have a diplo slot if too t many diplo relations. I see that happening more in Europe, though. Oh, come on. No, my gold mine. Ah, huh. ah my gold mine. Oh, well. I'm half surprised it hasn't uh, depleted before this. Oh, you benefited from that gold for uh, decades and decades, so I can't complain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man, the carpeting. Message settings like that. Come on. Yeah, 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 just, just get in there. Actually, continue to find. Oh. Give me a missionary guy. Is it, man? <sighs> just, just forget about it. I had enough of it, Paradox. Please, why can you not choose your own court members in E4? It makes no sense. The ruler should be putting it out on the street. Missionary guy! We need a missionary guy! Anybody want to join our court? And then everybody advisor-wise shows up. That is not a missionary guy because they can't read. Because it's less enlightened times than, than Middle Ages from TK. What? Forgive the soul. That is just so annoying. What to have to do to get a missionary guy? Don't make me hire him from the estate. Because I'm getting this close to doing it. Oh, come on. Folks. That's good. Oh, I give up. I give up. That's ten times I've tried now, so sod it. I really had enough of it now. Yeah, get wrecked by the audience. What also affect gold uh, production is religion, folks. Talking about that. If your gold mine is not the religion of your religion, it also lowers it. So you can increase it by converting. But yeah, it's not dependent on anything. I think we're not going to continue expanding around here. Time is, uh, well, survival wise. Stallions, Aragonese, Mumbox. Go up north again. 
find over here. Let's get a uh, Hadrumid up. And all their alliance and then consider kicking their sorry asses from here till Kingdom Come. It's a piece of sand though, so likely it won't, especially considering we don't even have the state slots. So, whatever. Wait, what? Ah, with the Mamluks. That was you. A dollar is a one province minus, so whatever. Get out of here. Now it's only Mara. And wait, what? The Mamluks are not low war enthusiasm yet. Oh, okay. Maybe I should just go and uh, get in there. I don't want to go in that sand. It's too sandy. So I have to. The fossil is dying. Culture only affects tax and unrest. It also affects manpower gain as far as I know. They're accepted or whatever. You get more. That's what you folks have run about. Oh, really now? You had one job killing them. The game would say, yeah, let's do it. I just don't care. Move. Ah, we were talking. Ah, oh, never mind. I, I shouldn't even reach out if you're not tagging me then. Wait. What? Just wait. Why don't you want to give in? Ah, zero war enthusiasm. Good. Speaking of which, can I get him out? Hmm. Should be improving with Sienna again. Hmm. What about Venice? Forget about it. Austria might be doable though, yep. Austria might be doable. Uh, anybody else in that list, Christian wise, that we might get out of coalition range? I sincerely doubt it. Pope man. I don't think Pope man is very happy with what we did to France. <laughs> to... No, forget about it. Uh, maybe I should just keep that spine out right by you. Oh well. There. Uh, there Is this an old start campaign? What do you mean, score? What do you mean, old start? It's current patch, and I just started it a couple days ago, if that's what you want to know. Ah, we stood and fired as Granada into Andalusia. We formed Andalusia before 1485, believe it or not. On very hard mode. Simply because I'm using uh, message settings that inform me of opportunistic chances. We engaged Castile head on while they were fighting Aragon and what? Aragon the first took all that, then they got beaten back by us when losing the war, and then Castile rolled them over, and then we rolled over Castile again. So, yeah, something like that. Yeah, separatists don't fight any uh, each other anymore, Ensign. They used to do that, I know, but they don't anymore. Because Paradox likely didn't... Oh my god, what? how are these guys kicking my ass? What? Oh, whatever. How are they doing that? What in the nine hells? We should have a ton more morale and whatnot, right? 
Huh? Maybe not. Did it take defensive or something? How did you beat a B? We got like putting her up in a defensive fight? With a four of two fuck. How the frack did you do that? Probably zero 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 rolls on me on my side again. We specialize in doing that. What should I say in Andalusia? Set off, set off, set off, set off, set off. Yeah, Krill, that, that, I should have won that. I think we can agree on that. But oh well. We didn't. Beats me why. Beats me why. Oh, and I'm taking horrible over it. Oh, that makes... Look! Jesus Christ. What are you doing? I'm such a derp, am I? Eh, move. The Mamluks are actually crossing the street. Move, 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 move. Ah, oh, wait a minute. We never occupied the... Wait, what? Okay, I am officially an idiot. <laughs> oh, we don't need to go there! There's no reason! Gets he actually declared for a colony in Asia. Derp. Great. Uh, yeah, let, let's spend money on, on, on what should we get, whatever, but that. Oh, I should end this war and just move into Castile again. Maybe take a little bit plus. Uh, you know what? Need. Quartermaster. Why do I even bother? That is so annoying, Paradox. Uh, 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 uh. Can always get what you want. I would pay for a DLC. We would get the the option to actually uh, choose your own goddamn advisors. You give the language, but that is so annoying. For example, if you're if you're doing a world conquest and if your culture, if you're owning provinces all over the world, try getting advisors that you can actually upgrade. Paradox. Try getting it. You would have to spend like 10,000 ducats sometimes to get a plus 3 advisors you can upgrade. Which makes no sense! The king should choose to be able to choose his own advisors and his own court. But hey, who am I, right? You can hire an advisor from the estates. Yeah, 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 and what if you want a mill advisor, plus 5? Not all the cultures can hire advisors for all uh, for everything you need, man. I mean, not all the nations can hire advisors. I, I think the Indian estates, you cannot even get a... Uh, if you play in India, you cannot even get a diplomatic advisor without uh, from the estates, I think. Well, you have a fair point. But yeah... I think the ones you get from your estates are the right culture, yes. If you got your estates, if you have them accepted, I think you can still get uh, advices from your estates that are not the right culture, but I could be wrong if anybody wants to confirm deny it. I could be wrong.
Hi! Ah, oh, shoot, and I don't even have a fort there. Just great. Separatism o'clock. Just darn it. Well, we can hope they go to Huesca. Oh, well, I'm glad you're with me, buddy. Buddy, do you actually still play Quilt? You're the same Quill from the forums that also did World Conquests and, and Streams, right? Or is that another Quill? Oh, come on. Wrong Quill, yeah, that's what I thought. I think I asked you that one already, didn't I? Oh, great, France is fabricating on us. I need tech up. They got tech 15 and he, we blew all our monarch points. Yeah, come to think of it. There. I need mill points more than anything else right now. take something less. But this is a state of mind. Oh, we could take Bukhaira later on. Can I can I just get some pretty borders and, and take this? Yeah. Probably better. <laughs> Ten again. I don't want it. Let Davosir take it. It's just pointless to take it. It's just a territory. There's nobody here. I think we're fine from coalitions from now on. I should be improving with all... Every count like again, in preparation of pushing into Europe again. I really wish you could sort this by, by religion, but I won't. Uh, I think I know them by heart already. It's, it's Augsburg that... Well, how long is it? We can... 1591. It's it's so not necessary. Unless we, we go for Pope Man, but Pope Man is the same truce. That's 89. I'm just going to improve it, Leon, because I think they might not have 200. And what? Should be ending this war. To push on, uh, I need to move on those separatists over there. <sighs> the rebels. Well, I really want to export them, but the rebels in, uh, Give in? Thank you. We're not coring anything anymore, are we? No. Nope. Oh, good fight. Good night. Not in it. <laughs> you can take our land, but you cannot take any dockets. Oh, sorry. Seven hundred and four. How in the nine hells am I? Oh, well, I'll just shove this inside. Our gears and just call that. Whatever. I'm just gonna march up all gears. I, I am not gonna integrate them. Uh, whatever. Our gears. Uh, Grand provinces. Benghazi. 
shame would happen to Libya, by the way. But no. Oh no. Um. Wait. Ah. Just blind. Usual. Grand province, Spania. now 300 and what you developed that to 39 well no, I'm not complaining AI but yeah it, it costs me a lot you know oh well can anybody remind me to call it in the end <laughs> And, uh, okay. And rebels, rebels, rebels. No! Shoot. Those guys are not here yet. Bad, I'm not a horde yet. <laughs> hey, we did a horde once. Wait, was that Brandinger breaking alliance with France? No. Just on it. Did anybody flip friendly that I don't know about? Of course not. Come on, what does it take to make you friendly, Timmy? Not that far away. No, yeah, that ba now Brandenburg is allied to France. And Brandy is allied to the Commonwealth also. If I now see the Commonwealth allying France and France calling in the PLC in Brandenburg versus us in the Ottomans. Then we're pretty dead. <laughs> they were our ally for the longest time and then they just betrayed us and rivaled us. They could have easily rivaled the Commonwealth, but yeah, we just got unlucky, I guess. I don't bird stuff like that. No. What? Come on. Right. Ah, so we're still at two hundred. Oh, good then. So can I make them all end on the same day now? Fifteen eighty seven. December fifteen eighty seven. September fifteen eighty eight. It's only nine months difference, so whatever. Just more months. Now we can handle that. We don't Now it's just time for our chill out again. Try to repair the nation. Any rebels on the way? Nope. Uh, I should be mud bowling. Most of the forts here, really. I'll do that manually because I don't trust these jokers. Well, I can set it to spawn. Why did I put you over there? Oh. Really now? Now we can walk over there, game. I know it. <laughs> nope. 
They'll think the boat would be faster, but automatic transportation just doesn't work if you got the connection. <sighs> no. Seven percent, man. Don't make me murk up and do it right now. Says you can't. I get that for aren't they? So what is the stack around here? Uh ten ten. Of course we need more infantry than uh Well, infantry it is then. Board and go. Hope you arrive in there. Fast enough. TTO get the head on the map. Tough luck, bro. Ooh. Oh yeah, we paid off all that corruption. Good. Edicts that the game asks you once in a while if you want to abandon edicts. Nope. If you don't pay attention, you leave unnecessary edicts open for like years on end. Watch them get it at 14. No. Well, I'll be that. Not lucky ones. Okay, is he coming at me here? No. Oh, he can await this. Get Rex on. Not Rex, idiot. No, not Kiro. Not El Karak, and we can expect rebels. So, there, uh, there, there. What do I have to do around here to get an ally? Timmy! Off me! Ish. Wait, what? Oh, we lost... Wait, what? Did I eclipse Bachmanis? What the... Oh. Hmm. 
A uh, small wonder. I thought we had enemy of enemy on them, so that's... Yeah, right. Hmm. Ah, forget about it. I need more allies and I just don't see them at the moment. Pod had from it. It could. Well, it's not too bad. Why not? Oh, we do have a claim. 1584. And no, that's not good enough for the uh oh I'll just spy on it. <coughs> Anything else we need to do? Yeah, fabricate on the mammals. the boats they don't want to use. We couldn't oddball all our armies. Just not sit in uh Cairo. Oh man, could you kindly wait what? Why are you not moving into Ottoman terrain anymore? Oh, man. Just want to export. No. And, uh... Sod this. Had enough. Because I really... I need to go get them because the Tlemkin will enforce. How did I forget that, Damn it! I'm an idiot. Oop. can I do that generous donation again? Uh, oh well. I need the admin to call. There. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ, it's always the same thing, isn't it? You thank your loyalty with one side, you didn't get an event. <laughs> you have to thank it for it. Hmm. Oh. That is gonna tank my income by a shit ton, but oh well, whatever. Jazzy separatists say. Wait, who in the Nine Hells continues to de-seize all this all, of, all the time? Oh, I should go fight them. Because they, I don't want my, my more of them spawning. Just doing it. What do I have to do around here to get a little bit of peace and quiet from away from rebels?
four man mugs. Davos here. Go get him, bro. Seven year France at our doorstep. Whatever. Whatever. Didn't I just send you guys? What the hell did I do wrong there? Hmm, a D knife. Oh, sure. Oh man, I'm gonna be too late, haven't I? I'm gonna be too late. Watch them spawn like 10 days before we deoccupy it. The poor Valky hero in a 10% development. Yeah, a 10 de uh, yeah, and a 40 development. Phew. Oh wait, Tyve Oh yeah, we we got that one from the Ottomans. Ah, uh, from the Mamluks, that's right. Not sure. Sit there then. And I'll be that one. <sighs> Phew. Okay. Man, France is gonna turn into a monster with that weak empire. A young militarist will just go whatever he, uh, he, he wants. Right side, I part you. Well, actually, I could just. Improve autonomy and not worry about it anymore. Totally forgot it's already a state, so I should just state it up. Is Cairo a center of trade? Yes, it is. 
So there. The rest should be in uh I guess. Go away. There. Where is it now? 3.5? No. We can do something about that, I'm sure. Oh. Wait, what? I'll what now? There? Really? Can I just let him build down, please? Uh. Is it allowed? Madeira still has two, really. Taive gets lower. <sighs> Kinda wanna make him tick down. This is fine, I think the once the war exhaustion... Oh, it is a way. Can I really not convert this yet? 25 autonomy points I want to have to forget about it. Speaking of which, the autonomy tick down enough already? Not really. Oh well. Time to chill out, I guess. Ah, I'm an idiot. That's a capital of four, that wix. Small wonder you're getting no progress. Derp! Uh. I can be such a derp. Oh, well, time to cool it. And why don't you annul your rivalry with me? Hush, darn it! Love me! Uh, I don't see anything we should be going for apart from Jalaf. But yeah, while well, Pope Man is guaranteeing that. Eh, mm, eh. I don't know. Take a look at it. <laughs> oh, man. Is the Pope allied to somebody that I really shouldn't know? Savoy and Venice. Well, we could focus on Pope Man and annul him, but is, is it worth it? Nobody has been colonizing in here because, yeah, we bashed the colonizers of Castile and Portugal so hard they never went for it. Unless we get a colonist, there, there is just no way. We could charter some trade companies, maybe? And discover the node that way and then see if we can... Yeah, that's actually not a too bad idea. So, hey, Noopy, or whatever you want to call it. Hmm. Where do I go? 788. Might not be worth my time. Without exploration, I don't know. 
Well, we could charter a company, get it over here, get it over there, and, and we don't even need... But is it worth the money? I should be focusing on repaying my debt first. Not buying anything. Uh, this is not in the same sea zone, right? Uh, would you folks actually invest 1,500 ducats? Well, I should be considering it now, because buying trade charters is actually dependent on... On uh, diplomatic reputation, you can't ask. Uh, gosh darn it! The Pope. Well, we could bash up the Pope in that war versus. Yeah. Wait a minute. We could do a separate peace deal with Pope man, asking only for that. It's unprotected by a fort. So, it could be a good thing to go for. Hmm. Okay, and I'm a derp. Let's get rid of the revolt risk! On both his troops. It will be worth my while. For sure. You fabricate on low angle if I do that and kick his ass. Ah, there's only one problem with the stunt. Is that I need exploration to get the sea zone. Or we could steal it away from one of those nations. But yeah. <laughs> Stealing away coastal stuff? I don't know about it. Why am I even bothering with this? Because you're pushing... Uh, but is it even worth it? The goal of the campaign is likely just to unite Islam, so uh, why even bother with India? All of that is only necessary if uh, a lot of money is actually in here, and, and it won't be. Because the colonizers are just dead. Ah, so. Bashing up the Pope for that. It would mean a nice base to go exploration, but we could take exploration as next idea. After we integrate all our subjects. Why the hell not sub this? We're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it. And was our truce with Yemen? 1586. Look at that. Oh yeah, wait a minute. This guy was actually uh, getting rid of that refocus, wasn't he? Oh, it is going away. Good. Bye, Medina. The problem is if Pope Man is Tech 15, he's not, and he's at war. Pope Man is, uh. I should be going for it right now if I want to do it. We could annul him and then hit him again. Get Rome. Wait, what? In Valangil. What? Now it triggers, well, I'll be damned. That's the latest I've seen it trigger yet. I'll be damned. What about Elector Flip Protestant then? What? What Elector Flip Protestant? I thought. There is none. So how can he. Ah! Utrecht. Utrecht is gonna lead the leagues. So wait a minute. A, a, a bishopric is gonna be the league leader. Wait. Can a bishop. Can a republic? Even be over theocracy, even be the league leader? No. Yeah. Whatever. Only one colonist in next. Yeah, but, but I would pick uh, expansion. But I need I need to go explore, right? 
Oh well. So how's those Mamluks? Two more months. Bahman is declared on Portugal. And Castile dishonored. And they had two swing Castile, by the way. It's quite a while, obviously. Separatists. C could you kindly frack off with you stupid separatists? Get lost. Sardinia. Get lost. Get lost. I don't want to be bothered by rebels ever again. Anazar, go away. Mallorca. Of all the fracking nations, all the islands are up in arms. Just. Just here. Have your autonomy. Don't bother me. Go away. Cagliari? What? Oh. Missed one. Go away. Ah, there is one problem, though. <laughs> the war was gonna be against Jolov. Uh, I'm... I'm... Whoops. Jolov doesn't even have ports, right? Ah... Uh, whatever. Ship over... Not that urgent. Stupid Savoy has chartered. Man. Can anybody in China agree with me they should lock away chartering trade companies behind exploration or expansion? It's just stupid. My honest opinion. Well, until we're in a position we should be. Yeah, Lima, can I gift you? Love me! <laughs> Why can you not gift them whenever the hell you want, but oh well. <sighs> that would make life better in TC regions. Thanks that somebody uh, agrees with me. Forgot about the boats, didn't we? Dope. Weren't these the guys that were privateering France? They were, right? Yeah. Okay. Hi. Some more. <laughs> you know what is funny? Also, nations getting expelled into West Africa. Like the Pope getting expelled to West Africa, Savoy getting expelled to West Africa, only because of those charter companies. Makes no sense, man. Oh, who am I to judge? Okie dokie. Now we need all these jokers. Go to Pope. Pope land! France is going ham.
Man, don't make me join the leagues and ally one of these suckers. I can't do it. The Ottomans join the Protestants. Oh, great. Just, just great. Oh, that's that's six. leagues work in a way. If if a rival of a rival joins, then the rival joins. Unless, yeah, well, we joined that already. Russia, oh, come on! What? But the Russians are... <coughs> the Russians are rivaling me. Maybe I should unrival the Russians. <sighs> Can anybody tell me... I think I asked that question already before in a campaign. Is a nation more inclined to break rivalry with you if you share leagues? If you're in the same leagues? I, I need more allies against that France, and that Russia is looking tasty. The Ottomans will now ally Russia 10 to 1 against the Commonwealth. Yeah, the common, yeah, 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 the Commonwealth is on the Catholic side. So it's really tempting to do it, but Russia is rivaling me. That's the problem here. I need to see joins what here? So, hey, Denmark. Brandenburg. I really hope France and Brandenburg join opposite sides, but I don't think they will. France actually has no reasons to join it. Well, wait a minute. Yes, they do, because their rival is in the Catholics. They will join the Catholic side. Because their rival is in, uh... See? Predicted it. Hmm. This is getting into... Yep, everybody's rivaling me, which is why I'm desperate on the lookout for allies. It's tempting to join the League Wars, because I would be at war with France, and then France... Or maybe not. Maybe I should let the League War trigger, and go kick ass France. Oh, I like that idea. I like that idea. But... Uh, the problem is France is gonna... Bash this to no end. Hmm. What would Brandy do? Brandy has no rivals in the leagues yet. Ah, man. Aha! Wait, Brandenburg did join the leagues then. Yeah, they did! Wait, didn't I write, didn't I make you? I, I, they did it. Okay, this is this is really th oh man. If now Russia should unrival me now. If I join the leagues, they should. How, how are the the Ottomans feeling towards the Russians now? Friendly, friendly. Okay, we could form a triple alliance block. The Ottomans might ally the Russians here. I already... Uh... <sighs> if I rival the Commonwealth, can any... What are the odds that Russia unrivals me if I rival the Commonwealth now? I think it's a smart move to make. I'll do it. Let's see. Let's hope the Ru the Russians uh, unrival me now. Wait, what? Oh, no, 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 no. Habsburg and Brandenburg. Oh, my God. There's going to be Habsburg in the Commonwealth. Habsburg in Brandenburg. Habsburg in Austria. What's next? Hmm. They're going to like each other and ally against... Ah, oh, come on. Don't jinx it. Slow crusher. Oh. Yes. Okay. Rivalry shifting. Ottomans has announced France. That's good. That's good for me. That will give them more incentive to join wars against them if, the, if France comes at me. Oh, come on, Russia. Love me. I'm gonna improve with them. Ah, oh, man. It's... Wait, what? It's tempting to join those leagues, though. But at the moment, yeah. Look at that. France, Commonwealth. 
and Brandenburg on the Catholic side. It's the league is never gonna trigger. The league is never gonna trigger. So it should be safe to join it, right? Don't make me do it and, and discover if it's really a thing that Russia would ally uh, would flip friendly. Russia broke with Brandenburg. Okay. Come on, do it. Rival France, Russia. I beg you, not me. Would it work that they unrival me if I join the leagues? <laughs> Mysteries of EU4. It might. It well might. Nah, I think there's no way it's gonna trigger chat. I mean, Commonwealth, France, and Brandenburg. It's them who have to declare. I don't see them do it. I don't see them do it, and I also see nobody else that would join it on the Catholic side. Well, Britain might actually join on the Protestant side, because France is on the Catholic side. Oh, we were going to war Pope Man, by the way. Not much. Ah, finally. Thank God. So now we got Tech 15. I should do that war versus Pope Man. Ah, uh, think. What are you waiting for to ally each other, I wonder? They share rivals. Ah, it's, it's because Russia ri is rivaling. Man. <sighs> yeah. That's a huge risk, though. Ah! It worked! <laughs> so it does work if you join the leagues. Well, I'll be damned. I'll be damned. Diplomacy with Outworks, folks. Diplomacy with Atwicks. How to worm your way into rivalry into allies. I really hope we can form a triple alliance plot now. Andalusia, the Ottomans and the Russians versus France and whatever. And I should leave the leagues if able. Or consider allying whoever joins it. Meaning Great Britain. If I unrival Great Britain, they might also join uh, the. Po uh, they might join the Protestants still. They would have to unrival me first, because Great Britain will not join the Protestants if its rival, me, is in the Protestant side. That's how it works, from observation. And don't make me. Is there anybody else on the Catholic side that I could find? Brandenburg, maybe? <sighs> Diplomacy without looks. Tink. Tink, 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 tink. Is that Denmark? No, it's a fort. Who are your rivals? Would the Danes join? Danes would join on the Catholic side because of uh, Russia.
but they won't because Austria is their rival. I don't think Great Britain and the Danes will ever join the leagues, meaning it will never fire. It will simply never fire. I really would want Great Britain as an ally now. We got 30 Trust. It is on. At 30 Trust, he would be willing to ally me, but... Hmm... The goal here would do a counter against that alliance block France and Brandenburg. By making my move and, and the Commonwealth a rival, it's likely going to be a ri an alliance block France, Brandenburg, and the Commonwealth against me, Andalusia, uh, me, the Ottomans, and Russia. They might still trigger that war, so I want uh, Great Britain also. But is it worth sh spending another? I, I don't even have the points now. Ah, shoot. Ah, well. Just give me an idea now. How many how many troops are backing me up now? Half a million force limit is backing me up now. How much does France have? I don't think France will come at me. There's no way. No way, Jose. I want to see him try. The problem is France can whoosh me. While the Ottomans in Russia cannot reach France. So, I, I need to beat him with numbers. Ah, well. If now that League War fires, I'm so dead. <laughs> so dead. Who's with Hadlam? Uh, oh, shoot. I totally forgot Yemen to declare on them, didn't I? Hmm. Would, I, would anybody... Ah, Savoy. Hmm. Allied to Mik Miklav? Oh. Well, they are a coalition member. And Hadramut is also. Hmm. Make 12 more. You smart bugger. I never see this two things. I'm just eradicating some coalition then. Um yeah, he cannot run anywhere. So fudge off. No 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 uh, Come on, that is like the worst one that could fire. Minus three from... 
Really now, I swear to God, if my allies dishonor now at, at, at speed five, I, I'm gonna <laughs> rage. Shouldn't happen. It will. What? What was that about France? Shoot! Collected away too fast. Just on it. Body join it. Did what now? Did they ally somebody? Nope. Oh, what will you do? <sighs> Jesus. Why doesn't AI continuously run away? Okay. Uh, tank. Catalonia integrated. I don't have. Oh, man. What the tank gives the, uh,. That is three states. Hmm. Fine. Right. Which ones are the best ones we can do? Mecha 49. Oh, that's tempting. Cat yeah, but Castile is likely better. Mecha can wait. Because I need to stay this up for uh, reasons. Hmm. Oh, why not? Ah, uh, think. I should have probably given it to the Alima first, you know. Can I get you on my side again, oh really? No! Okay. Haven't called that up? Really now? Anything else? Uh, so admin stuff. Uh think. That is likely worth the money in the prestige. Well, then again, I was trying to get enough prestige to actually uh, form the empire, so. Yeah.
Shut up, but I'll get killed. This even I don't even know how much money is in there. Can you actually see it without discovering how much money is coming from one node? Listed? I think this is just ugh, but annulling the Pope might actually be a good idea. Look at incoming? Okay. Ah, there is just no money in there. There is no money in there. That war is so not worth it. But though we are tech 15, they're tech 12. They'll never dare attack us. If I just move on Jenny, get him out, and then move on Jalof, I, I think... If I do this war, we can annul the Pope and start roaming our way more into more Genoa land. I, sh I still think I should be doing it. Mm. Ah, why not? Kick ass. So we don't have to full core belligerent anybody here. And I'm an idiot. Why did I declare on the two idiot? Sense that works. Oh, they do have a fort. Oh, come on. Really now? Oh, I'll go bash it up. Whatever. Why do I continuously get minus minimum rolls on these guys? Paradox, please. If there's two things I would want to see change in this game, it's advisors, pick what you want, and undo that stupid change you did on the general pips. It makes no sense. It's every day that I'm raging about it. <sighs> so hate that. Even at 100 army tradition, you can get drooling idiots and military academy sort of standards in a nation. No. Oh, it must be. The only one that is annoyed. <laughs> Did I really forget one? Maybe not fight this war on speed 3. That would be maybe a good idea. Hmm. So... Is Nupe actually fetishist? No. Starting to... Oh. I should be start... This can wait. Um, no. Be computer. Need to prepare for full annex in Portugal and uh, the other jokers. And this, uh, oh well, we, we can always get that claim later, whatever. Need us to know you. <laughs> Wait, Rome can hold that, right? Ah, uh, gauge me here. Oh. Mike, would that have been better? <laughs> Savoy, give me a break. Don't make me come at you. I should. I have a place, an army in there somewhere. No, wait, where is even all my army? Yeah, okay, they're all sitting on Pope, man. 
Oh, the moment we an old Pope man, we can continue on to two. So I think if we we should be maxing out everybody that would care. All, all the remaining Catholics, basically. Last year was actually this close to joining the coalition. Uh, how do you like us these days? Oh. It's kind of a waste of a slot, though. We will never care. I think it was Salzburg. Würzburg. Who else was it? Utrecht. Utrecht and stuff. We'll be fine. I should just do this systematically. Whatever. You know. <sighs> what school is that? My Nafi? What does that do again? Oh yeah, admin tech. <laughs> I don't think we have the room to take admin tech. Oh, come on, Savoy. Don't start annoying me. Really now? Oh, and he's sitting on the missionary. I done it. Oh, come on, center of reformation. Oh. Anything else we could go for that is cheap? Baska? Baska? Over here? Oh, all these, uh... Ah, oh, there. Okay. Ah, seven percent roll. Miracles have not ceased to happen. It's impressive game. Bad idea. They already uh, agreed to knowing. Um. Why are the cannons are not being uh, and sod the fracking horses, man? Get out. Uh, I think. Right. Okay. Oh, come on. You, you, you want some more bashing? Okay. We'll bash you up some more then. There.
Come on. Oh. Really, game? Man, is it me or, or is this just... Oh. I, I had enough of this bad RNG with those generals. That is just stupid. That is like the 1130th min pip roll I had on the general this campaign. <sighs> just, just take your pills out, which you'll be fine. <laughs> so annoying, though. There's no cat like left apart from Salzburg, is there? There's Venice, but ah, bye bye. Oh, <laughs> it is actually uh, Genoa that I might have to improve it. They won't care. They're Protestants. We might get them out of coalition range. Wait, the homie is alive? Not the homie. Thank you. South Christina. No, they're still alive in Galicia area. We did a huge peace deal on Galicia, though. Uh, on, on Castile, though. We gave uh, our one province minor uh, Catalu... Well, it wasn't, it wasn't the one province minor, but we gave them all their cores back, them all their core backs, and we got all our claims, basically. And now they're over here. 
you know, and, and we can we cancelled your vassal of, of Portugal because I was getting tired of them gains, gains, to get out of a coalition war faster. Because I was like, I don't like it. He's never gonna be loyal anyway. He goes, vassal is gone, man. I'm sorry. So sorry. I should be doing it. Whatever. Get lost. Don't. Trust my decision. Yeah, why don't I like it, Gainesel? Because if you have multiple subjects. <laughs> If one of them is perma disloyal, you can't see if another one goes disloyal, and then they get accidentally supported by somebody you don't want, meaning they all go disloyal. Hope you can understand. <laughs> you can understand. Privateer efficiency. What do you think I care about France's opinion? Yeah. Me know nothing. I'm Manuel from Barcelona. Sorry, France. We, we know nothing. If you didn't get that reference, you're likely not old enough. There are people in the chat who watched that series. Ah, oh, man, it's the pinnacle of British humor, I think. Where am I from? Ah, uh, Belgium. East of the UK, north of France, south of the Netherlands. Europe. From uh, what? Where the hell? Oops. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, they turned into re rebels, and and and. Oh, I'm an idiot. Well, that alliance with Siena is not too bad. You could give me some money, I guess. I, I need the truce to be kind of short. How much money do you have? Eh, fine. Get out of here. It would be fun if the Catholics could declare on the Protestants NO LEAGUE WAR! <laughs> KILL THE HERETICS! But yeah, it's not in... Ah, oh, come on. Are you sure you don't want our oh, eye peace out? No! You need our capital! Okay. We don't have a two seeds leader anymore, do we? No, oh, if they get the four, they get the four. Ah, oh, man! I wanted room! Son of a. AI yeah, on the hug box again. Watch him out of France next. <sighs> oh, no room for us then. I boo. Ba 
Benny Hill. Oh, come on. Benny Hill, really? Yeah, uh, yeah. If you compare Faulty Towers to Benny Hill, I would have a hard time seeing which one is best. Never mind. I uh, think. Angry? So wait, is that the new piracy mode? This might well be the, the new piracy thing of a Jigabob. Angry. We're angry. <laughs> Come on, it used to say pirated us. Is this the 1 minus 40 that chat was talking about? They're angry. So, uh. Faulty Towers. Awkward. <laughs> Come on. What do you mean, awkward? Painful to watch. Why so? I think it has aged pretty well. It's a bit like like it's ancient. It's ageless, man. Faulty towers and stuff like like uh, I don't know. Hello, hello. I bet you could still find uh, hotels or whatever it's called, faulty towers in in the countryside in England. That look exactly the way Faulty Tower looks, but oh well. That's not what you mean, problem. Statesman, eh? Well, that's good to have. Come on, fall already! <laughs> Jesus Christ, uh, did I miss the occupation of the capital in there? No. It's peaceful to watch. Uh, oh well. You can argue different tastes in humor chat. I, I find it humorous. Maybe you folks will say, oh, Alex, please. But I like it. Oh, it out. That'd be weird. But yeah, you know what? I, I think I actually like uh, the guys from... Uh, Oh man, what did that guy from Faulty Towers play in the, 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 the movie The Life of Brian and then what's that ensemble called again? Ah oh, man, how ca I'm getting old eh? I'm, and forgetful in my old age. Jesus, damn it, what are they called again, those movies from... Never. I mean... Like a TV show that made the movies, but what TV show? And what was the name of that TV? Monty Python, right? Indeed, man. How could I forget that? Okay, uh, an another guarantee France has on you. I, I still think it's buggy. I think France won't revoke that. So, Savoy. Uh, Savoy allied to the common. Oh, I don't like that. I don't want Savoy. Yeah, just just die. Die to whoever and whatever. Verdon. Ah, uh, whatever. You might help hit them. Oh, come on. They got that seat right when I pieced them out, of course. Because reasons. Ripping yarns. No, I haven't. I'll write that down. Ripping yarns. What is that about? I still think uh, Life of Brian is one of the best Monty Python movies, better than Holy Grail still. It's a gem. But I'll watch it then. Uh, ripping Yarns. <laughs> I remember that uh, that scene from Life of Brian where Roman guards guard Caesar and my season is talking about his biggest dickers friend. And there's a funny story about that, that the guards actually didn't know what the scenario was about, and that he was actually improvising. The Caesar actor from Monty Python actually went to those guards and did something totally out of the scenario, and that actually made it into the movie. That's why uh, the movie is so great, it's full of improvisation. You can actually see the smirk on the face from the actor when he turns towards the uh, guards and starts disciplining them. 
and uh, the guards, yeah, the, those were like one-day actors. <laughs> it's so funny to watch. You should watch that clip if you find it on YouTube. The guards were desperately trying not to laugh at that word, and that friend of C's as big as dickus again. And then he just turns to them and repeats it while watching in their eyes, and they start bursting out laughing, and that's the end of the scene. Oh, well. I should really watch I, I think I'm gonna rewatch Life of Brian this eve now, come to think of it. It's a great movie. Hmm. Anyways, uh, who will hate it if I do horrible, horrible things to you? Uh, what is the trade company again? Oh, man. Uh, la, 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 la. Yeah. All that, eh? Well, isn't there gold in here also? Old. Mm. Old. Six in gold. Oh, not bad. Six in gold. Hmm. Okay. Now give me that. Or. Just. Give it all. Give it all to me. Yeah. Hmm. About that. That might be pushing it a little. I don't... Well, maybe I should improve. I don't think Castile or anybody is gonna care anymore. Maybe we should push for this. I can use all my diplomats on this job. And just sit on them. Now, whatever. Um, somebody is taking horrible attrition somewhere. Oh, you derp. What are you doing? Hmm. Katsina is not even going to care. Okay. What? Oh, Molly is still... I hadn't even seen them. Molly, Timbuktu... So I cannot even... Oh, wait, we can declare on Jenny. Okay. Do we even want to take this land over? It's not trade company land. I shouldn't even bother. I shouldn't even bother. I should just improve and be done with it. Why would I? I'm not gonna. No point. Just improve it all the Sunni folk in here. Get this over with. Ripping yarns. Since <laughs> you're mad, I'll watch it. Ah, uh, well. Now what? Scoring has to wait, I guess. Need some admin for uh some admin. Jola. Coring the coring the Africans starts a bit awkward. Sounds a bit awkward. Come on, Alima. Love me. Hello, yeah. so. American Way. Are you new to chat? I think I've seen your name in uh, channel before. Think. Uh, 
Tunis. Oh, shoot. Whoops. Hi, Tunis. Hi, Tunis. Who's your allies? Stilton Baktu? <laughs> Stilton Baktu. Okay. Um, fine. Well, we could actually walk on Timbuktu from over here, right? Uh, I'm then. Best guy. Well, if we just spread out, we might turn into rebels. Then go on the fort there. Oh. Why the finest is still negative? Ah, uh, we had to loan up a bit for uh, accepting an institution. And because we paid off ten, that 10 corruption from gifting the Ottomans, also costed a lot. We're also converting. You know, the usual. Stay there. I think he's actually locked by the fort. He can move. But yeah, we have been paying off the, uh... Don't get me wrong, our finances are healthy again. We, granted, we got 4,000 in debt, but... Yeah. More than missionaries, more than anything. It's putting us in debt. But it's not that bad. We got... Well, we paid off most of our inflation and, and 4k debt. With a loan size limit of 700 is really not that bad. <laughs> he cannot do anything about it. He's like, I don't know how to re-siege a fort. Let's just sit here. What would we do, AI potato? He's going full potato. Why is he not even... Why is he not even re-sieging? Makes no sense. He's just sitting there. Beats me. Okay, we got a mission. Uh, likely that mission I was talking about. Yeah, Caliphate of Cordoba. And now, of course, we get clear. Ah, oh, 200 admin! Mwah! Perfect. Thank you. So, end the Kingdom of Portugal. Okay, we can finish this move and actually go towards exploring. We would get a Conquistador 5561 for that. Kind of want to do this. Understand now that I gained the way I cancelled this. Portugal, I want to start doing this mission tree. It's pretty fun. Monopolize Guinea. Oh, well, I'll be down. Do we even have a... What is this one about? Iberian Dawn. Okay. Wait, we get claims on France? The White Phoenix rises. Morale of armies 10%. Okay, so basically if we kick Castile and Portugal out, we get claims and morale of armies on France. Okay, and, and what then? And then we go into Italy. Well, not bad. So basically the, the mission tree from uh, Andalusia is giving you a chance to, to go for the entire uh, Genoan trade node. Well, whatever. Left a bit. Chad said there were Muslims in southern France. Yeah. So... They, they couldn't have been there in the age of the Crusader Kings, right? When did that Sunni kingdom in, 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 in Languedoc around Toulouse cease to exist? It is the first time that I heard that, that Muslims ever held land. In Toulouse, but I'll believe chat. Somebody said about it. The first thing I heard about it, though. Uh oh, France is gonna come out of truth soon, and he's he has claims on us. <laughs> France is so gonna kick our ass, folks. We we should be ending this war, by the way, and looking if any other ally might join us. Full annexation, go. 
Yeah, can we even do that? 22%. Aw, oh, come on. Really? Yeah, well. Maybe not take this then. So we can only take 78. Well, perfect, I say. 78. Take all the gold mines. We might even state it up. Why not? Could be good gold. How uh, good development is this? 38. That's really not too bad. Yeah, and, and this here is... Well, that is a good state. That is a really good state. Jesus. So wait. The West African manding is actually bigger than the provinces in... Oh, okay. Here I thought it was a piece of crap. It's not. Good states. The eye developing. Not 35. 48? What? My eye has been busy. Not too bad. Maybe I should go whoosh. And, and paint the Andalusia over the wasteland. So, not bad. So, we compute. 78, right? Okay. Gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Do you still have an ally? No. Have I played ever as a West Africa? Yes! We did the homie achievement. That timed achievement. With uh, the homie to, to basically own entire West Africa before 1500. It's still one of the hardest achievements out there, but we just pretty easily did it. Still on the YouTube if you want it. But no, I haven't played anything in West Africa, I think, outside of the homie ever. Can't recall that I ever... There's, there's no achievements for any of these nations, I think, so why, why would I even bother? Well, there might be, but I don't know. We could do a campaign. There is a... There is a formable in Africa around this area. The nation of... But you can only make it in like 17 or 1800. Somebody that played Vicky should know the name. What is the name of that na of that nation again that you can form in West Africa? Sokoto. Yes, Sokoto. Thanks, chat. But who cares? Yeah, Timbuktu. Eh. How far is Timbuktu from... Uh... Oh, we should wait a bit then. Timbuktu is... Uh... Not gonna be in coalition range anymore. And now it's like nobody but me and Jenny. Wait, what about Molly? Molly doesn't care. Why don't I believe that? But oh well. Yeah, whatever. Gimme. Nom 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 nom. Gimme, gimme, gimme your land. Now. And by the way, ah yeah, it's because we own a core in here that we can core it all immediately. Not bad. What? What chance? There. Hmm. Oh, we don't have the, uh, we don't, oh yeah, scientist. to see, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Jesus, I, no, I can't, I, I don't, what? Wait a minute, because I don't know, I can't do it, but oh, I would have to do it all manually. Oh, great. Thank you very much. Oh, came please. Uh, wh why is it a thing that you have to discover a C zone before you discover the C trade node? That's so stupid. I know all the land in West Africa, I just don't know the C, so I cannot... Oh, I don't know about the trade in there. Because we don't know the waters. Kinda makes sense, but then again it also really doesn't. That was it. Yeah. Scientists never found conclusive evidence that Africans reached Brazil. How would the Africans ever have reached Brazil, man? What nation would ever have reached Brazil? All the coastal nations in this era were like tribal and and, and not e and, and just getting raided by all the slavers. The, the only 
really advanced area in the Middle Ages and before 1444 is the area of Timbuktu. There was a big library and big, uh, a big powerful nation in here. That's about it. The Mali ruler tried? Really now? Okay, fair enough. Yeah, Mali, actually, you're right. Mali never got raided by the, by the, uh, the, the slave, the slave guys were more busy over here and in, uh, Z Zaire. Not over here. Yeah, you're right. I got no clue how powerful Mali was, even was in this era. No. Wait, oh, man, didn't I kill those Miklav guys? What? Where did you... What are the nine L's? How did you get over there? Ah, oh, just great. Just great. I, I still call bull that Mali ruler tried, but oh well. I don't see Africans building ships and, and, and getting to America sooner than uh, colonizers. Pasai is giving me an alliance offer. Hey, I Pasai. Hmm. Oh, oh. We need more allies against France. So in the eyes, friendly reminding me, hey, you need allies. Get him. Oh, well, Pasai, why not? We got the slots. He should be big and powerful, right? Is he? A He's allied to Bengal. Oh, okay, so Malacca won't bother him. Oh, okay, you got it, Pasai. You got it! Oh, shoot, I should have accepted it over there. Idiot. Anybody else I overlooked that really wants to ally me? Sind! Okay. Uh, ally to Timmy, eh? Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Beside that 62 force limit, Sin, I don't know. Let, let's check it out. What do you bring to the table, Sin? Air. What? Sin. 37 with 71 force limit. Interesting. Sin might not be a bad ally. But why, why isn't Timmy wishing to ally me then? Sind is just friendly and then, then... Ah, well. <laughs> Stupid me. I don't think I can even, uh... ally Sind before France has a chance to declare on us. Pure anger? Ah, yeah. Anger is in it. <laughs> that was indeed a very nice... Uh, after action report. I missed the days I made my after action reports. Oh well. Let me link them in chat again. I, I should make a command for uh should make a command for that. If you folks were, haven't heard about after action reports, is what I did before I started streaming achievements on very hard. And while I was still in full world conquest mode and one tagging the world all day. I think the best one to read is the Naxos one over there. It has Game of Thrones story, and actually uh, gifts and uh, basically uh, photographs from the Game of Thrones series to make a storyline that is completely made up, but it, it actually has all the Game of Thrones characters, and I just made my own story while doing Games of Thrones. It was great. And then we made one on... Uh, uh, there's more earlier ones, but I don't have a command for it. You can Google it. Jungler, that's was in point seventeen. I remember that one also. Back in the day when an AI spammed hiring conduct Yeri like mad. That was actually one of the hardest campaigns I ever did. We formed the Mughals as Jungler Dash in one tag the world. That was great. And then Hyder. The Hyder was the last one. Then I burnt out on World Conquest, even before Hyder. Even before uh, Haida is, uh, I got burned out of World Conquest, but oh well. The Haida one is an, uh, me doing uh, a very hard World Conquest as a Native American, no exploits. 
we flipped Christian and then PU'd France and the Commonwealth in Hungary and we conquered the world as a Native American. No exploits, no no cheese, no whatever. And it also the both uh, Naxos, Jangladesh and uh, the Haida one have stories, gifts, even cats in them, Jangladesh. Jangladesh and uh, Haida, cat army takes over from Age of Absolutism. It's full of cat gifts. It's amazing. What's an after action report? Uh, AAR is after action report. Basically, if you want to know what an after action report is, it's basically you tell the story of your campaign or in any game by using screenshots and then giving uh, feedback below the pictures what is going on in the uh, in the pictures? Basically, if, if some folks really don't like to watch videos, they like to watch it with with really good uh, pictures that that show what's going on. And the people that don't want to watch ten hours of video can watch the after action report. There are people out there that just don't want to watch video all day. But after action reports were basically a thing of the nillies. When there was no uh, streaming yet. These days, the, the last years, there's nobody. Well, almost nobody that is actually making good after action reports still. And that's a darn shame. But oh well. Happens like that. They're still common for Hearts of Iron. Oh yeah. I guess so. Because watching Hearts of Iron is boring as hell. Half of the day you're just shuffling troops because uh, <laughs> for the uh, front bugs out or, or whatever. Or simply because martial stuff doesn't work at all. Oh well, what was I even doing? I got horribly distracted here. Wait, Mali in a coalition? No! No, 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 no. I was going to declare on you. Ah, frack you. God damn it, me allying that sinned with the diplomat. Uh, oh well. That was here. Okay. If France doesn't join it, I might still do it. What's France joining the last day? No. Okay. So what coalition was that? I don't want France to join the coalition. So Mali, that was here. Huh? Well, we could do that. Hmm. Think. I don't have a CP on Timbuktu. Do I have a CP on the allies of the Dalits here? Yas. As? I don't know. A Dal. I don't have a CP on a Dal, do I? Nope. Hmm. Oh well. I need to take on this coalition immediately. God damn it. I never make these mistakes. And yet here we are. Am I world conquering? Oh, who's to say, man? Maybe I'll, I'll conjure up the stamina to do it, but likely not. I'm just having some fun. We will we will uh, likely unite Islam, though, so I need to go into the Timmy and whatnot. I just don't have any achievements anymore. Not a lot, so why even restart? I may as well continue this. Mali, I... <sighs> I don't have a CB. And, well, Timbuktu. Is there anybody that I have a CB on? Yeah, Hadramut. And they're allied to a doll. Okay. I just want to take on this coalition head on before it expands. And maybe I uh, get some more land in here. Not uh, sure. We'll only call in a dial, which I don't care about, so there, before it grows. I normally never make mistakes like this. That coalition should never have triggered. But I'm just an idiot, and we let it trigger anyway because we used our diplomat. Full knowing the coalition would reform the moment France would come out of that. And then we didn't have... Boom, kaput. Stay there. Uh, right. Oh, 
word conquer. <laughs> Did the religious war fine? No, it didn't. And I cannot leave the leagues until uh, quite a while. But we made the right move joining them because Russia unrivaled us. The only thing I want to see now is the Ottomans allying Russia, but they, they I don't think they have the slots for that. No, they, they're occupying that. Okay, think. Ah, uh, shoot. I'm an idiot. Where is he going? Oh yeah, go to Mazab. Good! Very good. Uh, the league leader is actually Genoa. <laughs> but yeah, folks, the league war is not gonna happen. The Ottomans and Russia are the only big guys on this side, and the Catholics have the Commonwealth. This thick as God knows what Brandenburg. And, uh more. And France, by the way. So, I, I don't think Genoa will ever have the guts to do it. If they are, then I want to have left. I want to have left those leagues. Hmm. I'm so sorry. No coalition for you, France. <laughs> Right, uh, if I make one mistake, I should be careful not to make another one. Mm. Yeah, Castile in 1591. Um, think. I think another coalition is on. It's a big... I don't think. I don't think so. So France would be one, Castile would be two, Venice would be three, Savoy would be four, but Savoy is on a truce. So I don't think... Any nation that is equitable to join a coalition can still do it. Meaning, I can wait until Portugal comes out of truce. Ah, oh, wait a minute. No, Portugal is not allied anymore to Castile. Ah, never mind. Never mind. Oh, that's full on, he said. No, <laughs> likely never got it.
Have I done Provence into Jerusalem? No. I, it's it's a drag, man. Oh wait, no. I thought I was thinking about the form Egypt one. Provence into Jerusalem? No. Well, we could do that one if you want me to. What are you saying? You're uh, not enjoying this campaign anymore? <laughs> oh, well, maybe I should just call it after uh, getting entire Iberia. G going for uniting Islam is going to be such a drag. Well, maybe we should just call it after Castile and, and, and Lucien, but I don't know. What do you folks think? You want me to go up against the Ottomans? Yay me. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, oh, Tunis has this also. Totally forgot. Whoops. You wouldn't mind seeing some late game. Oh, okay. I haven't been doing late game a lot. Is it? Uh, I do. You'd rather see some Provence into Jerusalem? Oh, okay. In all honesty, I hope you can understand, but I'm leaning towards the Levy. I'm getting bored. We could take over Genoa. We, we could conquer the world. We could follow the mission to reunite Islam, but... Meh. I'm getting it again. The meh feeling when doing a campaign like this. It's just so... Incredibly boring, the late game. I was planning to go exploration, but... Well, I don't know. Provence into Jerusalem. Well, why not? I'll consider it. I at least want to wipe out Castile and Portugal and, and totally own Iberia. Then this company is a hard achievement because <laughs> they think the Saxon idea is uh, the Saxon one is also hard, I guess. Uh, well, what is that? I don't know. Some of those achievements indeed are categorized a bit poorly on the page. No, I should just get out of here. You know what? <laughs> I think I'm just gonna do it. Just end it the moment we own Andalusia. Well, entire Iberia. I mean, what's the point of continuing? I would have to go up against the Ottomans again for uniting Islam, and uniting Islam is such a drag of an achievement. I should be... I, I've i done it already. Yeah, you need Samarkand, you need Sindh. <sighs> Muscat. Cordoba, Tata. I'm already... I'm already well on the way for it. But I would have to push into uh, Akiano and the Timurids and into Sind. Yeah. All owned provinces are Muslim. Oh my god, really? Yeah, sod it, sod it then, man. Really? I would have to convert also? Yeah, so all the... Nah, forget about it. Forget about it, sod it. Too much of a drag, too much of a fuss. Do 
You take religious ideas and it's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'll consider it. Huh? But at the moment, I, I, it's like, yeah, we're stabilizing the joints. I would have to go farm absolutism again. Been there, done that. Uh -huh. I just don't feel like it, I'm sorry. Ever since they forced the player to farm absolutism, I'm not having fun anymore in the late game. It's just such a drag. Maybe it should be a drag, but still, it's a drag. Because you gotta lower your autonomy, and then you get rebels everywhere, and then, then, no. Uh... Yeah, but Lolada, that's maybe fun to do once. Maybe twice, three times. But after the 11.30th time, you're like, oh my god. <laughs> it was... F I started... I already got the Granada achievement, so... We did... We started this for the fun. I think I had my fun. Well, we'll see. And when is Castile 1591 and when is Portugal 93? Oh, I like it. Right, so High Coalition, Hadrumud. Oh, Hadrumud was the coalition. I thought it was Dawes here. Okay, I'm a fool. Well, maybe I should just end this. Pretty sure they'll agree on wiping out Tunis, right? I wanna wipe out at least one of these jokers. Get some pretty bonus. There. And, oh, oh! Come on. Get up. Shoot. Oh, really now? You know what? What? Get out of here, coalition. Right. Uh, and I'll just kill off these two. They haven't allied anybody big, have they? <laughs> I don't even know who Gumar is. <laughs> Castile has no allies. Should I get Venice up? Anybody else? You know? I don't think anybody else is good. <sighs> oh, rebel, yeah, Protestant Zonards are great. Man, I'm only three three short from forming an empire. Come on. Am I still converting stuff? Yeah, we are. Okay. We might form the Empire of Anosia. Before this, before this is done. Oh, I'm so sorry, Castile. Time to die, bro. Take Lacuna, take Lugo, take whatever. Pfft. Watch him have no troops in here. Oh, he does! How cute. Uh, or maybe not. Augsburg. Ah, oh, come on, don't start. Watch them ally in the Commonwealth or whatever. Mm. 
Woohoo! Empire of Andalusia. Let's go, folks. Hey, me. Now we can make more states. So who cares if we do horrible things to you? Do we have an island left? I don't think so. All the rest should be... Ah, oh, St. Helena. Okay, that is still not full annex- oh man, my kingdom for a full annexation, but... How am I even supposed to know where he's colonizing? Oh well. Demanding like well Mali. Wait, did you improve in Mali? Didn't. Okay. Really now, all of a sudden, he's allying everybody and their mother just to troll me. Typical. Well, sure. Just go to wherever the hell and, and die. Go to wherever the hell you want, Castile, and die, please. I can't do it yet, can I? <laughs> nope. No. I'll just sit on the war and uh <sighs> Alright. Austria. He might even be dishonoring that. Let's see. Is he? No, oh come on, man. Can I just call in the Ottomans on it? Yeah. <laughs> I just want to wipe them out, then I then I might end the stream and then consider if we continue it or not. I think I won't, but we might. I really think we might, though. If anybody wants me to continue, then make your voice be heard. Yes. Slack here. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> Not my eggs. You were gonna privateer, buddy. Oh, dick. <laughs> Only five hours left. I'm a bit hungry, you know. Paper state. What do I care about the paper state? Hmm. Now, we were gonna bash up the Pope. Also, in August 1596, and I don't think we got a claim yet. Somebody's an idiot. There? Anybody else? Hmm. Vandenberg actually on? No. Not going for you. Allied to Frankfurt, you tracked Russia? Oh, come on. Genoa allying the Russians. Yeah, sure. Oh, and it's the league leader, so the entire league gets called in. Right. Can I threaten war on that sucker? That would be swell. <laughs> threaten war on the league leader. Yeah, Ghana, I, I also think it's pretty boring. I, I've already done it in my Yeren campaign, before the achievement was even a thing. 
and I don't feel like going at it again. I it can be such a drag, all those achievements. All those achievements that require like half a world conquest. Meh, I say. I should be improving with more cat legs or whatnot. But in all honesty, I don't think anybody is gonna care about me annexing. Uh, I don't think anybody will care. Hey, yeah, Austria, are you sure you don't wanna break with that stupid Portuguese piece of crap? No! Okay, then. There's good reasons to play at least to 1700. Yeah, like what? Me and late game, I just explained why I don't like it anymore. That, that always that continuous farming of absolutism. And if you then don't have humanism, it's such a drag. Oh, I just don't like it. I don't. You like to spam buildings. Oh yeah, if you get your fun out of that, I suppose you get fun. Whoops. But he forgot his rebels. Wait, what? The Commonwealth are declaring on Russia? Ah, oh, come on, you, you should have fracking... Oh, great. You should have allied the, the flacking Ottomans. The Ottomans don't have the Diplo slot. Uh oh, and I'm an idiot. Oh, that works. Idiot? What are you doing? 16 manpower, that's me. More rebels. Now we got an enemy. The Danes are not in the leagues yet, are they? Now place your bats. Commonwealth versus Russia. Hmm. Oh, and Brandenburg. Wait. What? Defensive only. Oh, shoot. At least they both got tech 15. Humanism. That brandy is defensive, okay? Defensive brandy. <sighs> oh, come on. Can I kill this one already? Oh, my course finished. <laughs> 38. Okay. Goodbye, Castile. Have fun wherever the hell you're going next to. That feels good, man. That feels really good. The one left now is Portugal. Oh, come. On. Give me a break. Rebels! Rebels! 
more gravel. Oh, team, bro. Watch France now declaring on me. Roman Russia dishonors. Oh man, that France is going ham. Militaristic France, born from Luc Stelov and Alexander de Valois. Kicking ass. In the HRE, like old times. What? Wait. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, the Commonwealth called in Great Britain? Oh, great. We're at war with Great Britain. Russia is so dead. Um, I cannot miss the truce with Portugal here. Ah, but Portugal, god damn you. I like to Austria. Wait, did I already miss it? I already missed it. Somebody is an idiot. Okay, so the Ottomans want to join. Well, fine. Bam. We're likely not going to continue with anyway. Join. Do it. Hmm. Now, now's Monoglo. Time to shine. Oh, come on. Don't start harassing me, damn. Gas bladder. I'm so sorry, Brits. Thank you for dealing with my rebels. Uh, what is your plan now? You're gonna come engage me? Wait, what was that insult? Something about... Ah, oh, shoot. Yeah, boats. When will I ever forget not to... Oh, come on, man. Give me a break. Get out of here. I'll buy boats. Aye, could you knock it, knock it out already, with your stupid rebels? What? Oh. That war about. Okay. Philosopher, scientist. Uh, uh, uh. Oh! One we can use! Woo! Uh, could I for once get a missionary guy? Please, sugar on top. Hmm. Yeah, over 
what would those... Oh, wait a minute. We can actually core Bermuda now. Very, very interesting. I don't think it's 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 on to full onyx. Huh? Ah, that that is all. Oh, I could Bermuda for the coring range. Wow, well, let's just sit on it. But I was gonna check: is there anybody that really hates this? These guys will forever hate my guts one day. <sighs> well, I'm trying to find the stamina to continue it. If we if we actually do this, we, we can get the mission tree to go for uh exploring. But eh. An Inquisitor! Well, I'll be damned. Okay. Ah, oh, you know what? Uh, pfft. Do I need a claim on anything on anybody else? Uh, I, I don't feel like expanding beyond here. But, yeah. Outraged contract. Wait, how is... How is... Yeah, but... You know what? Outraged nations goes for an ally. <laughs> Whatever game. Whatever. Very well working at the time. Oh, come on! You're not sitting on any of my coring, are you? Nope. Do the start for good king? Yeah, yeah, I do agree, man. I could play... You want me to unionize the world again? And, and to get a union on France as Provence and, 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 and whatnot. I know you, cheeky bugger. Want me to do, uh, oh yeah, go play the union game again. I can read you as an open book, Gangel. Gangel is the one who taunted me into playing, uh, what was it called again? Thuringia? And try to fill all your relation slots with PUs? How many did we end up with? We were really unlucky in that campaign, but we did get Russia. <laughs> did we get France also? Oh, I don't remember it anymore. Basically, Brandenburg is doing the exact same thing. Have you ever seen an AI Brandenburg like this? I don't... I've never seen an AI from Germany, but he might. That's just insane. Taught me all of the joys of pews. Yeah. I'm glad I can teach the players. It would be nice to see the developers actually uh, practicing it in their multiplayer and not fall in a stupid union under another player, but oh well, who am I? One such things. Oh uh, well. Well, King Rene Provence, why not? I think I'm done with this campaign. Christian Monk? Did they get Khan's feud or something? Yeah, but I still think he's close to forming Germany. You th I think you need Frankfurt and three. I don't remember what you need. Half of it is in Poland, you say? No, nah, that's not Poland, man. It's Silesia over here. He doesn't own anything in Poland. No, PLC owns Poland. Oh, never mind. You're liking, uh, likely talking to somebody else. Oh, come on. Ottomans! How are you not going for that capital? Are you really saying that I have to do it myself? Really now? Uh, I never trust an AI to do anything for you. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Oh, God. No! They're here! They're here! Run for the hills! Brandywine is coming at us. Oh no. Thank god, Brandywine. 
You had a total of eight Diplo's lot. Four? Was it four? France? Ah, I did get France. Okay. You almost had Spain, but my air got booted. Yeah, I remember that. Hey, we tried, man. Right? Oh, well. Is Portugal agreeing on that already? Yeah, that's just a proof of God. Ah, come on! If I can go to peace of Portugal without it, I don't know. Well he does accept that. So what else could we take? I really wish there was a, there should be a way to see. Uh, how am I supposed to know what is what is actually owned by Portugal and what is not? I, I would want to full annex a minute if, if I had. How are you supposed to know what is full annexation? Irish? Ah, oh, you know what, sub this. I had enough of this. Let's just kick him out of Europe and be done with this. This is 58 over extension. Get that? No, we can't. So, good fight, good night, Christians in Iberia. You tried. You failed. Ah. Oh. I think that's a nice end for the campaign, don't you folks agree? What? How many bloody development did you develop that one into? 31. Great. Oh well. I hope you folks can understand, but I'm this close to just abandoning it. I mean, there's no real challenge anymore. And uniting Islam is just such a drag. We got... we pretty much wiped out the Mamluks. We got... A nice snake into, uh, who's to say where, uh, Andalusia would, would go from here. We got Naples, we could be, we could kick the Pope's ass, but what is even the point? I mean, pfft. <laughs> I say. Boring as all hells it is. Plans for a new campaign? Yeah, Chant wants me to do for King Rene, so we'll do it. But let's first do the uh, storyline of the campaign, I guess. So, uh, how do you do that again? Show timeline. There we go. We started the campaign as Granada. And, uh, allied Tunis at the start. Tlemkin rivaled us. And we fabricated on Tlemkin. We briefly allied Morocco, but then we saw Castile was uh, supporting one of their, uh, one of their subjects, and I didn't want to defend versus Castile on 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 the Moroccan ally, so we uh, we actually shipped our troops into Tunis and hit Lemkin from over here. And uh, Aragon was fighting them at the same time, and through some shit, they only got that to my dismay. But we released Algiers from that province. I think then we just uh, had civil war sat on our butt. And we just abided our time. We managed to uh, improve with the Ottomans and uh, allied them the moment we saw they were subsidizing us. And then we just went ham. The uh, Castilians and the Portuguese continuously hit Morocco, weakened them, and we used them as meat shield to do this peace deal, cock blocking them, cock blocking them off the entire coastline and preventing that Portugal could, uh, could get Fez. And that was uh, the beginning of blobbing, really. What then happened is Aragon hitting Castile. Castile, that, that was actually beautiful and the reason why we killed Castile so easily. Castile was fighting Morocco still at the time, and we took all the forts. See where I'm going with that? They had no way to go back. They had no way. Aragon had more ships than Castile because Castile also had to fight the Moroccan uh, Navy 
and uh, Portugal had dishonored at some point with Castile. So it, it was only a war versus Castile, I think. All the rest had, uh, I think they had no allies when Aragon hit them. Ah, oh, wait, no, they had Brittany. They had Brittany, but Aragon was actually focusing on besieging this fort, so Brittany dishonored, and then we just occupied everything before Aragon could and just sat on it. We just sat on it. And you can see uh, where it goes from there. We took all the Andalusian land in that peace deal. After carefully improving with all the uh, Christians that might hate it. We took all that, the entire Andalusian culture, and then we hit Portugal. We could have hit them without allying England, but we didn't have a diplomat. Message settings, folks, I repeat it again. Our message settings told us a time where, where, where Portugal had no allies, and we couldn't recall our diplomat before the allied England. And then I said, sod this, we just engaged them, England, killed them all, went in debt. But we formed Andalusia after that. We even took Evora and the centers of trade in there. And from there, yeah, it was just mindless blobbing. The moment you uh, do all that, yeah, well... Castile never even colonized. Portugal almost didn't colonize because we bashed them up so hard. In the end, we uh, went for uh, Tunis. What we did is uh, we declared on Morocco, wiped them out, but then Marrakesh formed. Uh, Castile had kicked, uh, released Marrakesh out of. Uh, they had released Marrakesh out of Morocco. But they were allied to Tunis. We had permit claims on Tunis, and I was like, saw this, we, we, we had like 40 force limit at a time, full manpower, a healthy economy, and I was like, whoosh, kick my ally out. We had the Ottomans as an ally, so why not? The goal was to push east for the Mamluks. And uh, so we did. We declared on Marrakesh, made Tunis full co-belligerent, and did a separate peace deal giving taking most of his forts in here and here, and the coastline we gave to Algiers. We full annexed Marrakesh, we full annexed uh, Morocco, we full annexed all everything and everything over here. After that we engaged Aragon, and they gave us the worst stroke of luck of bad luck that I've ever seen in any campaign. It was just insane. We had like two point morale on the guy, Two points of morale, which is huge at this stage. And still they defeated us in any defensive battle. We like rolled literally a zero in all the battles. All all of them. We had two... Ah, shoot. We literally had two battles where we, uh, the two first shock rolls were actually uh, zero rolls. To my dismay. Now we, we had to spend like so much money... And in the end, we just called in the Ottomans. And that was a good idea, because it allowed us to, to do the peace deal that we actually did on... Uh, on uh, We actually did the peace deal. We released Valencia. We released Catalonia. And we with the age objective, we actually... Yeah, but that was before 1510, by the way. I'm, I'm, I've sped it up a little bit too hard. We took over Naples as a subject. Released it over here, released it over there. And from there was just, yeah, kick ass. It was just kick ass. We, in the end, we went east. We engaged the Mamluks for, for this terrain. We blocked the Ottomans, basically, for delving into Mamlukian land. They, they came this close to breaking the alliance. Don't try stuff like that if you got a militarist Ottomans. But it, because it wasn't a militarist, he, he went cool with the situation. In the end, we got some really good states in, in there. And then it was just, yeah, Basque steel up again. We full annexed uh, Aragon. They allied France, but France continuously called us in against Great Britain, which gave us chances to full annex them. But yeah, in the end, we just uh, kicked all of Iberia out. All those, uh, all the uh, I, the Catholics out of Iberia. And it was, it was a fun campaign. It was real fun. And we would have had the, the achievement with Granada again because oh uh, wait a minute, I gotta check. Didn't didn't they pull this one out of the uh out of the region again? Out of the French region again? So yeah, we we basically just earned the achievement on very hard mode with Granada. A second time. We could have continued the campaign, but I really see no point. It's boring. The late game and I don't want to farm absolutism. 
Um, so this is it, folks. Andalusia. Hope you folks enjoyed it. I'm going to grab some dinner, and I might actually be back later this eve to start that Provence campaign. I don't have work tomorrow, so uh, me as well. Hope you enjoyed this campaign, and uh, we'll likely restart with Provence another day. Before, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious now. Yep, that's what I thought. It's no longer in the French and the Spanish region. So we actually did do the, the entire achievement a second time. Plus Granada take over entire Iberia, including the islands. Hope you folks enjoyed the campaign and let's see if I can host somebody or raid somebody. Uh, oh yeah, Shenver is doing uh, Dawn of Man, but yeah, that that is not, that is not uh, like this game. Let's go raid Alta Funk again. <laughs> He's uh, is he still doing that Savoy campaign? Let me see. Coffee smokes and bullshit. <laughs> what? Ah, that's typical Alta Funk. He's an old bejesus with a white beard. Go check him out if you like. Hope you folks enjoyed my stream, and uh, I'll be back later on with uh, Provence. This is Atmic signing out of Antalusia campaign. We we kicked enough Christian butt for one day. Bye bye. He's doing the Swiss now. Ah, oh, even better. It broke him? What? Let's go find out. Bye-bye.